these people here on my vacation. What is this? You think I invited you? Only if you do peace in the chat. Is this a peaceful vacation chat? Is this a relaxing chat? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, welcome on in, everyone. I'm not working today. Just so we're clear. Okay? Today might be the launch of a very exciting Holo Taco collection, the vacation collection, but I'm not doing anything, okay? I'm just gonna sit here and you guys are gonna sell it yourselves, okay? All right, chat, let's go. What's in the collection? Tell us. I'm sure the Holo Taco detectives can do it. Um, you know, I'm taking some time off. Chat is taking time on. Cheers. Cheers to a real vacation! <laughs> Ooh, look, look at that. Is that never tied down turquoise jelly? Yes, it is. Wow. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is an all-new Simply, okay? This is a chill time. We're just vibing. No one's working. You're not working. I know you're not working. You're here. We got the mods who are working. I'm sorry, mods. This is gonna be a busy chat. <laughs> Thank you, mods, so much in advance. We love the mods. Can we get some mod love emotes in the chat? Let's see them. Let's go. There we go. Welcome to the Menchie Gang who's using the Simply emotes. The Simply emotes are available to Menchie Gang members. We thank them for their support on this channel because I am a real streamer. I am such a real streamer that I'm literally just going to sit here for three hours <laughs> and do nothing. <laughs> Cheers. I love it. Oh my God. This is amazing. It's a vacation launch. So what am I going to do on it? Nothing. Mm hmm. Just so we're clear. We're gonna react to MasterChef today. Making uh, fruit trays. Ben made me this delicious pina colada. <laughs> it smells really good, can you smell it? Mm. It's so good. It, ben, is there rum in this though? Like this is the second stream in a row where we're like, oh, let's get a drink ready. It suits the vibe. But then I realize I'm drinking maybe alcohol at 11 in the morning. Cheers. <laughs> What time is it where you are? The only time that's important is this one. 22 minutes until your vacation begins. I'm gonna take off my glasses because I realize you can see yourself. Guys, that's you. Wild chat. <gasps> oh no! My little necklace thingy broke. This is such a boomer look. What do you think? Okay, vacation fit check more important than anything right now. What do we think? I tied it together so it, cause this is a men's shirt. Cause they only, I could only find men's shirts. <laughs> it's an extra small men's shirt, but I think it's cute if I tie it. <laughs> you know, we have the wavy hair. It's wavy hair courtesy of the beach. Obviously the beach did my hair today. Looks like a grandpa on vacation. You talking about me or Ben? At least I'm not wearing upside down pineapples without even realizing it. <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome on in. Today is the launch of the vacation collection for Holo Taco. Finally, I know people have asked for years, like actually for three years since, no, four years almost since 2019. Everyone's like, you should do a vacation collection. Ben would love it. Cause then you could go on vacation. And you know what? It was always in the plan. It was always in the plan, but it took us years because it kept getting pushed back. The vacation collection was always there. I always knew the color palette and the fun we wanted to have, but it just didn't fit. You know, we just didn't have time for it. So we had to do remix and then, you know, we had dark rainbow and then there was pastel rainbow. There was all these other collections. So we just kept putting off the vacation and then COVID happened which totally derailed everyone's plans, right? So finally in 2023, we're launching the vacation collection. <laughs> it has arrived. 
and it looks like a vacation it feels like a vacation and you too can have your own vacation for 70 us dollars that's pretty good if you ask me you know what i mean for an all-inclusive nail painting experience wish you were here <laughs> so i'll get into it in a little bit we'll do all the things just let me go through my quick order of business where is my business document I closed it, great. <laughs> I closed it. Okay. So yeah, we already shouted out to the mods. Just a casual, friendly reminder, our moderators on this stream are not Hollow Taco Customer Service agents. If you have any questions related to your order or whatever, or your account, please contact customer service directly at supportedhollowtaco.com. Thank you. Um, and we will not be answering customer service in the chat because the chat is wild. I cannot keep up. My mom said yes, nail check, HT support. <laughs> Thank you, Holo Combo. <laughs> we shipped to so many places, over 70 countries, and shipping will start on Monday. Shout out to the warehouse. Shout out to the warehouse. They deserve a vacation after this launch. And big shout out to customer service, who, uh, you know, just, just imagine that, that uh, you want to treat them with respect because they're, they want to relax too, just like we all do, okay? Mentally, we're all we're all here. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Don't forget to log into your Holo Taco account before you buy, so you can add to your rewards. We have our loyalty program, and to use the special emotes you're seeing in chat, you need to be part of the Menchie Gang. And to chat at all, you just need to be subscribed to this channel. Subscribing is free, but it controls for bots, although we still get them sometimes. Maybe the bots are on vacation. Hope there's no technical difficulties today. Thank you. Put a one in the chat if this is your first live stream in a while. Let's say that, in a while. Put a one if you're like, oh, I've taken a vacation from watching YouTube streams, but I'm back, okay? Here's my one in the chat. I'm back and I would like to announce my presence. There we go, okay, people? Welcome back from vacation. Welcome back from vacation. You're here, you're ready, let's go. <laughs> I apologize in advance for missing a bunch of member chats. I really appreciate people using their member chats and super chats. Thank you, Amanda Joe, for gifting five Menchie Gang memberships. And YouTube is like broken and won't let me scroll, scroll through. It's like, no. So this is gonna happen at the beginning. If you have something you really wanna share or super chat, you could try, I would suggest waiting, you know, to like two hours in where it's a little easier for me to keep up but we really appreciate anyone gifting memberships, which means those people can join the Menchie Gang on this channel and get access to exclusive content and come to our exclusive live streams that we do once a month. It'll be later this month. Thank you, pizza and nail polish. Woo! Oh, look at this new, look at this bot. Treat yourself to a holo taco vacation. Only $70. Wow. That's such a great price for a vacation. I love it. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. Here's the agenda, chat. I'm gonna show you the box and my nails. Then we're gonna go live in exactly 16 minutes. Then I'm gonna do something different this time and show you guys a mood board. Haven't really done this on stream, I don't think. But I'm gonna show you the mood board, the concept for this collection. Cause I feel like this one is all about the vibes. So I wanna show you the vibes. So we're gonna do that after the collection goes live. Then we'll watch the Holo Taco launch video, which will go live when the collection launches. And then we'll look at the Holo Taco website, all the swatchers. I have so many questions that I'm gonna need to answer about formula. What formula is it? Cause they're all different. They're all different formulas, no precedent. We'll talk about mood boards and just everything. And then I have a, a little present for the Holo Taco detectives, of course. And then we can do bingo. I know in the Simply Discord, people have made a bingo sheet already so if you want to go ahead in the simply discord i'm sure it's pinned somewhere in like the simply react channel shout out to the discord mods today i'm sure it's absolutely chaos in there good luck cheers <laughs> okay can i just show you the shit all you can eat pizza and nail polish on vacation ben that's not what we're selling we are not selling pizza just to be clear and don't eat nail polish what 
what is happening? Oh, and I have a slideshow. I have a slideshow because when I showed you the vacation uh, slideshow on our podcast and in stream like a few weeks ago, I didn't show you everything because I couldn't because I had to hide the box. So now I have a slideshow part two with the box in it and it'll be fun. So we'll do that too. Okay. Hold on, this song is intense. This one's too slow. Okay, I can vibe with this one. <laughs> Introducing the Holo Taco Vacation Collection. A curated collection, a cocktail of five different shades in five different unique formulas that don't have a precedent. Okay, they're all different and I don't know where to put them on the website. Like, I feel like people are also gonna be asking this question, where do they put them in their Excel spreadsheet? Yeah, I don't know, I don't have answers. Okay, you guys are gonna help me figure it out. <laughs> Inspired by a beach vacation, we have a collection box. The collection box is limited edition as per usual and will be available while quantities last. And um, yeah, look, it's a sunset. It has hollow on it, obviously. I'm in beauty guru lighting, but you can imagine. You can imagine the beautiful hollow. Oh, look! In the sunset, it's really pretty. Don't worry, I have a picture. And let's open it up. Oh! Guys, this is sand. Well, not actually sand, but look. It's supposed to represent white sand. It's texturized, so it feels like sand, but it's hollow, sparkly, golden sand. And you can touch it! It's kind of like winter shimmers, except it's just here. That's right, we put sand on the box. Let's open it up. It's such a fun box, I know. Thank you, shout out to the designer. But we uh, wanted to, instead of just doing abstract stuff, it was like, no, no, no. Let's do an actual sunrise and a beach to send the message home. Make it clear, this is the vacation collection. Look what it says, assorted specialty nail polish. What else do we put? I don't know what to put. <laughs> So it's specialty now. Okay. So the inside says, wish you were here. How I wish you were here. We're just two lost souls living in a fishbowl. Year after year. The music stopped just in that wonderful time. Great. Okay. And the inside tray is also sand. <laughs> Guys, it's the sandbox. Look, we're, the polishes come in their very own sandbox. So you too can play in the sandbox. Look at that. It's textured. You don't have to touch it if that irks you, but you know, it's there if you want. And it's the same color as Beach Please. Let me just look, look, look. I'm like a cooking show. Oh, look, they're already out of their cartons. Amazing. How did that happen so quickly? Wow. Okay. Here's the five new polishes and you can already see how some of them are reflective. Just wait, wait, wait. Okay. Three of them are reflective pigments. Watch. Hold on. Okay. Can you tell which ones? One, two, three, have reflective pigments in it, which is like reflective taco in terms of the pigment sh really showing up, kind of like a stop sign at night, like a safety vest with the direct angle. If you're like looking at it through the light, kind of like the camera lens is looking at it and the light is right beside it, you'll see that reflective glitter. So that one has reflective glitter, this one has reflective glitter, and this one, this one looks crazy <laughs> with reflective glitter. Okay, let me just go back to normal lighting for a second, or normal-ish. Turn this up. There we go. Tax Haven Multichrome. I'm doing the abbreviated version. I can't, I don't have time to tell you the whole story. So please stay for the story because I would like to tell it with my mood board. But just so you're like, what formulas, what colors? Okay, let's do that real quick, ready? Oh, did I take the label off? Oops, this might have been from my, like, my shooting. <laughs> I took the label off! Fuck. <laughs> okay. Tax Haven. A warm brown coppery bronze tanned multi-chrome with gold scattered hollow glitter. This one is tanned. Like, I love it. It looks so pretty. 
and you'll have to see it in all the different lights to really get that shift. That's the teaser mixing shot we posted on Instagram yesterday. Yeah, it's brown, but it's like warm and rich and coppery and it suits the name Tax Haven. <laughs> little cheeky, little cheeky name, yeah? <laughs> okay. Actually, I'm gonna do this one last. This one has been highly anticipated. I mean, look at it when it's blurred, holy. Wow, this is never tied down. A stunning turquoise jelly. It's a jelly, but it's packed with iridescent flakes, so it's like a treasure trough of stuff. And there's crushed hollow in here, for those who love the crushed hollow formula. But it's crushed hollow plus tiny hollow glitters plus very small iridescent flakes in a turquoise jelly. So, where do I put that on the website? You let me know and I'll figure it out later. <laughs> but yeah, a stunning, gorgeous turquoise shade that literally matches the sea in the Caribbean. I have pictures to prove it. These three are reflective. We've got Beach Please, which was inspired, why am I showing this hand? Which was inspired by the white sand beaches. Oh, all the brushes are wide brushes. This whole collection is the the thick thick width brush or the wider brushes of our two brushes. We can go more into that later, but yes, they are. And it will say on the website or on each listing. So this is Beach Please. It is actually the color of white sand. Okay, I said I want a white sand polish. I want it to sparkle like it does. And I want to add gold reflective glitter to give it a kick. So when you look at it under a reflective light, look, see how the gold just sparkles? It's like the sunrise on the beach. It's so pretty, but it totally changes the look. And that's something we're gonna have to learn about reflective polishes, okay? They look gorgeous at like neutral normal lighting, but they have a special effect that you need to see. You need to show people through your iPhone, whip out the flash, start recording and show them. <laughs> This is beach, please. You thought we wouldn't go on vacation for a vacation collection beach, please. Of course we did. Incredible. What the heck? Thank you, rowboat. <laughs> Looks like hummus. Oh, that's so weird. It does kind of look like chickpea crush. Okay. This one I swear is private villa. Um, this is what happens when I shoot. I sometimes take the label off. <laughs> okay. This is private villa. It is like surprising. It is a hot pink red jelly base. This one is a true jelly and it's got a uh, yellowish golden shimmer, micro shimmer it and hot pink reflective glitters. So in a neutral state without a reflective light, it's gonna read like this, like a tropical cocktail, hot, hot, uh, hot girl villa summer or whatever, hot girl summer. <laughs> It's kind of Barbie-ish, it is. It's hot pink, but it also reads kind of red. Some people maybe call it coral, but I don't know, I feel like it's too hot. Too hot pink to be coral. Anyways, we can fight over that later. And then when you put the reflective lighting on, wait, don't go anywhere. Look, like what? <laughs> it's just hot. like my camera can't even do it. The hot pink reflective glitters. Well, they're not even hot pink glitters. They're pink glitters, but when you suspend them in a hot pink reddish jelly base, they like look hot pink. So it's like, what? It's so cool. All right. Then last up, we have a late checkout because, you know, no one wants the vacation to be over. We're always gonna ask for a late checkout, but just make sure you don't have a late checkout today on holotaco.com so you can make sure you secure everything you want, you know, just saying. Late checkout's good sometimes, but then other times, you gotta be careful with that late checkout. That's your favorite? I mean, like, we could have done this whole collection purple, but I was like, how about just one? <laughs> this is a purple indigo shimmer jelly, but it's a very packed shimmer. So it's a full coverage shimmer polish, and the particles kind of shift to like an indigo color, but then they also return to a warm purple at certain angles. I'm not gonna call this a multi-chrome, but I do feel like it has a little bit of those shifting properties. And then it has, get this, gold, gold reflective glitter that really pops. Like what? 
It's like a disco at night. It's like you go on vacation with your parents when you're 17, but you want to go to the disco. Okay, you're like, where are people my age? <laughs> That's what this looks like. It's wild. It could be great for Halloween too. I see that. To me, this is like the purple sunset, but then you have like the, the bright lights, like it's party time. It's like 9 p.m. Like the sun's just gone down, but it's like still kind of there on the horizon, depending on the location. It's vibing at night. It's vacation vibes at night. So all different formulas. There is nothing unifying the formula other than the fact that they are all created to kind of suit the vacation vibes color scheme. They layer really well. They look great in a Skittle. Ben wore just these two on our vacation. Hold on. Just these, oh, I can't even show you. <laughs> I'm like, how do I do it? Ben wore Tax Haven and Beach Please together in a Skittle and they looked really cute. I feel like you could pick any two of these and do an accent nail. I know people are gonna do nail art with these two where the sand meets the shore. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> okay, what do we have? Do we have five minutes? What is it, time until, four minutes until vacation. Let me get my drink back. What the heck? What the heck? Do we love it? Did I go on vacation just to shoot the vacation collection and justify it as required for marketing and business? Yes. Do I see a problem with this? No. Is this CRA IRS compliant? Yes. It is work to go on vacation to shoot the vacation collection. Was Ben very happy about this? Yes. Did he basically orchestrate this? Also, yes. <laughs> anyways, anyways, um, you too can have a vacation in three minutes for $70 US or $14 each. Uh, the box is no extra charge. Uh, you know, that's why it's all inclusive. In three minutes. Cheers. I hope everyone has a drink. What do you guys have? Pineapple juice? This is very thick. Like, how do I drink this, Ben? <laughs> ben made it so thick. <coughs> We're okay. Where is it? Refresh, 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 refresh. Oh, and we also have all three royalty shades in stock. You're welcome. So for whatever reason you didn't pick them up or you wanna get a double or a triple, they are limited edition. So when they go, they will be gone. But like I told you, we made a lot. <laughs> So I'm, I'm happy that they're still here. So if you guys are shopping the vacation collection, you can add another one of these to cart. Okay, I also had the Mappy. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see where everyone's coming in from. Why don't you guys comment in the chat where you're coming in from? Because I'll find you. <laughs> Where are you? I see you. Okay, I can I'm gonna cross check see if you're lying. Oh my god. Is it live? I just saw those purples go No It's not live yet stop lying. Oh, it is Hold on hold on. Oh my god, we have to I feel so I'm sorry <laughs> Yeah, they have to update the banner you guys are too quick. Look, they are they already populated here, but the banner's not up. You're too fast. Slow down. We're on vacation. We're on vacation. I am refreshing, Ben. But it takes time. Everyone, please slow down. We're just chilling. It's the world's chillest launch. Mm. There it is. Find your happy place with the Hollow Taco Vacation Collection. Look at this set. Oh my god, I'm dying. <gasps> the beach chairs and the sunglasses. 
I mean, you guys have seen a little bit of a preview of it on an IRL beach. This one's actually a set. <laughs> But I mean, amazing. Thank you, Velvet Frog. I'm at the beach. Let's go. The vacation collection. Oh! Stunning. Just like, look at these tropical beachy vibes. Oh, all them in front of the beach. Look at that. Wish you were here. Oh, did my video not go live? But I set it to go live. Oh, it goes live at 11.30. We're a minute early. <laughs> We're a minute early. Shit. <laughs> okay, let's look at these pictures. Look, the, these are IRL vacation shots. We have the polishes chilling on the beach. We have them by the pool. Like, come on. Exquisite. Look at this match with never tied down. Stunning. Should we travel the world? Let's go vacationers. Look at you guys, vacationing everywhere in the world. Who do we got over here in Europe? Shout out to Europe! Let's go! Is there anyone awake in Australia? There is! <laughs> the party's always here in the, in the USA. Party in the USA. Anyone in Punta Cana? Oh my god, look! Wait, what is the, what is it? Why doesn't it tell me? It used to tell me. You guys think I'm this good at geography? I need the little hover thing. Shout out to Punta Cana! That's where we shot the pictures! All right, everyone, let's go. Wellington, Florida, let's go! Okay, who's got it? Comment what you're picking up. I'm assuming most of you are picking up the whole vacation collection, but you know, I wanna know what are your favorite shades. We're gonna do polls about what's your favorite and then we're gonna compare it to sales data. One thing I always like to do is take um, like customer survey data and see what people, or stream survey data, sorry, not customer. I like to take <laughs> survey data of the audience and see which shades they like the best and then compare that to the real data of sales. So we can do that towards the end of the launch, but I will have better data in like a week or so because you know, it's only launch day. But we love to see opinion versus sales. Okay, should we watch the video or hold on? I wanna show you my mood board. Okay, video's live too, so you can watch the juicy macro footage. You can jump ahead if you wanna watch that. We're gonna watch it in just a little bit, but I would like to share my mood board first so I can show you all the vibes. Oh, and one thing I wanted to share before, oh, have a good vacation. One thing I wanna share before we continue is I'm gonna do a giveaway on stream later, like at the end of stream. I don't want to take away from this. So, we'll do a giveaway later at the end of stream, and I'm also gonna do a giveaway of the vacation collection in the Simply Analogical Discord server. Now they're gonna go chaos mode. I'm sorry, Matt. <laughs> and the All Things Simply official Simply Analogical Facebook group, which is a new group, but we're. Yeah, we're gonna kick things off a little different this time. I wanna reward people who've been in the community for some time and are chilling in my groups who have been engaging with me. So we're gonna just do those giveaways directly. And the Simply Analogical, it's called All Things Simply Facebook group and the Simply Analogical Discord. Those will happen later this week. But on stream, we'll do a couple on stream. But if you don't win on stream, Join those other two groups, All Things Simply Facebook group. You'll see it says the official group and then uh, the Simply Analogical Discord server. That'll be later this week, so chill today. <laughs> Security, let's go! Um, okay, I am seeing a few people say it won't let you check out. Problem with shipping rate? We're looking into it. Please hold. We've got Ben on the case and the team on the case. 
I literally have no time to be here, but girl, I love you for late checkout. I will cry. That polish is so beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, there's a problem with shipping rate. Oh no. The website's on vacation. Who, who got their box and who's having a problem? <laughs> Some people are getting their box though. Is it just international? Okay. Um, don't worry, we've got the team looking into it. They're gonna fix it. I understand if it's frustrating in the moment, but I'm sure they're on it. So just chill, you know, you will get it. We have, we have a good amount of the box, but um, yes, I apologize for any issues that you may currently be experiencing. Wasn't aware until I'm seeing it here live. This is what happens when you're live. It looks like there's no issues in the US, so it, it might just be affecting international customers. Yeah. Had to, hold on. Had to log out of my account and then it worked for Canada. Okay, well that's not good though. <laughs> Okay, the team will, will work on it and we, we will give you an update when I have news about the fix. What did I say earlier? This will be the chillest launch. Can't wait to have an all-inclusive Manny. Yep. There's too many people trying to go on vacation at the same time. This is what happens. There's too many people on the plane. There's too many people at the resort. You know, they got they get overloaded. So we just gotta chill and know that we're gonna make it. I accidentally got my goddaughter addicted to Hello Taco, so now I have to order two of everything I buy. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. I'm in Canada, but after a few tries, it worked. Keep trying. Okay. There's a tip. No panicking, guys. We're all gonna get there. Everyone's gonna get there. I promise we'll fix it. Yeah. No crying in the chat. No crying on vacation. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to show you the mood board and stuff I have planned while well, customer service and the team works hard to fix the issues, but I trust that they will. Um, I am not customer service also, so I appreciate everyone letting me know just so I can let everyone know who's international, but I won't be able to individually help you out. So please, please have patience and uh, mods can continue to repeat this message because I'm going to move on from this and then hopefully revisit when I actually have an answer. But yes, there may, there may be international shipping issues at checkout, but the team is working on it now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone for a chill vacation. Needed a warning to add Facebook group. Needed a warning? Oh. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you. <laughs> That's my Facebook mod. Oh my god, I'm the worst. <laughs> I'm, I forgot. My brain is on vacation, you know? <laughs> okay, mood board, mood board. What were we doing? Mood board. <clears throat> When we're coming up with collections, we like to mood board, think of vibes. Now for some collections, it's way more about formula. Like I know everything's linear hollow and it's a rainbow or something like that. But for this collection, formula wasn't necessarily the underlying driver for the collection. It was more like the happy, happy uh, consequence, <laughs> the good consequence of this collection. It was really about the vibes. What did we want? Five different shades, all with unique mixed formulas. So it was like a cocktail of different things for people to try a new way to introduce new formulas. And it just really suited the vibe of the vacation where it's like a little bit of everything. You wanna dip your toe into the sand. You wanna go out late at night. You wanna have like a hot pink, hot red drink. Maybe it's a Shirley Temple, you know, <laughs> whatever it is. You were thinking about getting tanned, you're bringing your suitcase and it's all about the turquoise ocean. So this is just to visualize it 
and then the product development team got to work on like what kind of mixes and matches we could do with formula. I definitely knew we wanted reflective glitters in some of them, but I didn't want to overload and do all of them because the point wasn't like, this is the reflective collection. The point was, this is the vacation collection. It's about the vibes. We're chilling. Okay, we have one, I'll have one of everything, please. The bartender asks you what you want to drink. Uh, one of everything, I can't choose. <laughs> the turquoise sea one turned out like literally exactly the same. You cannot tell me there's anything different here. Perfect, stunning. We'll do close-ups on that next. Tan, suitcase, think rum and coke, think shiny glossy leather. But of course, I had to add a little bit of sparkle. But that's what Tax Haven is. It's the tan multi-chrome. Stunning, rich. <laughs> Everyone hates her, you know what I mean? <laughs> we love it. <laughs> and then we had the hot red pink, which became Private Villa. There was a few things I was inspired by. It was either like the kind of hot pink red umbrellas, private villa resort, but then also the fact that there's drinks that are often in that color range, like a tequila sunrise or a Mai Tai or a Shirley Temple or whatever it is. Like it's the grenadine of it all. That plus sparkles is what we were going for. The sand was obvious, okay? This one was always gonna be in it. I feel like maybe the hot red or the purple were a little bit flexible in terms of like, what is actually that slot in the collection, but sand was always it. From day one, I was like, I want a polish that literally looks like sand. Like you just went to a white sand, beautiful beach, you picked it up and you put it in a bottle, but add hollow. Cause all beaches should be hollow. <laughs> in my professional opinion. So literally beach, white sand plus Gold reflective plus hollow, and there you go. That's it. It's the color of sand. <laughs> Love it or hate it, I don't care. <laughs> I want it to sand polish. It will forever be known as the sand polish. And then the purple polish. This one was meant to represent like the late nights or like the party time, you know, because everything else was very relaxing, very chill, very cool, very daytime. And this is like the nighttime of the same vacation. And I just had, I'm like, mm. we do a lot of purple, although purple sell the best, so everyone loves purple. But I'm like, what can we do to contrast that purple, to blast it, to zap it, to just inject it with like nighttime glamor or flair? to be like the, the light of the, uh, light up the night kind of thing. So that's what this was. It was inspired by like purple sunrises with a little bit of the sun peeking out or the bouquet on the dance floor and when you're like, you know, everything's blurry and you're like, what the fuck? I drank too many tequilas. <laughs> that's what happens, okay? When you drink too many pina coladas at 11 in the morning, you start day drinking, all of a sudden it's night and it looks like that bottom picture. You can't see anymore and everything's just cool sparkles. So that's the mood board. Wish you were here. And now you are. The box as well has the same integration of the colors. Not exactly the same, but a little bit different because we had to accommodate printing hollow on top of it. But it does fade to a purple at the very top. And then it's got the kind of like red colors in here, the turquoise sea, the sunset, and sand, of course. Do we love it? She really captured the vacation mood. Thank you, Sarah. It's all about the mood, the vibes, the feeling, so that everyone can paint their nails and feel like, you know what? I feel better, I feel relaxed, and I feel like this is a vacation enough for me. Because painting your own nails, to me personally is something I do because I find it relaxing. Like I just love the process of it. And I feel like the vacation collection paired with that experience is something that you guys can experience as well. Just like paint it at home, you know? Take some you time, paint your nails, and you, you have this beautiful color palette. You could do all five in a wild vacation skittle or just pick one at a time. Got it, woo, let's go. Thank you guys. Hi Simply, this is my first live. Welcome Carolyn. And my first collection box purchase. I'm a long time vod gal and single polish purchaser. Finally leveling up in the Simply world. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you.
Okay. Let's watch the video. Let's get some juicy macro footage up in here. Here, I'll just I'll just go to the YouTube channel. Sorry, just give me one second. The team is still looking into it. I apologize. Yes, we, we know there is an issue with international shipping at checkout. It looks like a bug on the website. The website is on vacation internationally, so I apologize, but the team is working on it. I will let you know when I have an update, but just so you know, you're not alone. I know, I'm, it's in a pinned comment. Yes, thank you mods. Thank you for your patience. The website was like, no bro, we want, <laughs> we want to go on vacation too. I do feel like we're, we're gonna be good for boxes. I can take, um, yeah, I think we're gonna be good. So I just want everyone to relax. We will fix it. You guys broke it. This is what happens. You broke my website. My website is broken. Sorry, please hold. <laughs> please hold, I'm on vacation. What did I say earlier? We're just gonna chill. <laughs> okay, let's watch this video. We're gonna relax. We're gonna sit back, relax, and watch this video that I'm gonna give director's commentary on. Ready? Here is the professional presentation. Chill vibes only. Exactly. Wait, 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 I have to pause. <laughs> where was she? Where was she? Where is she? Nope. It was earlier. <laughs> Who was there? Who was there when I was shooting this collection live on stream a couple weeks ago in black and white and I put the little drink umbrella and I held it. I'm like, this is cute. Okay. Do you remember now you're seeing the shots and for the record, the polish, the two polishes that I painted on stream in case you're like checking your ability to color, uh, to, to colorize from black and white. I swatched never tied down and private villa, the hot pinkish reddish one. So yeah. Sand. I'm so annoying. I'm gonna watch the sand again. Sand! <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> oh! Five unique formulas. Chilling in their own armchairs, their loungers. Look at them. Like, we literally rented a villa for the nail polish. Okay, you gotta treat royalty like royalty. <laughs> I was in the pool to shoot this. I have pictures from a slideshow. We can do behind the scenes in a bit, but this is the professional presentation first. <laughs> Sand. Let's unpack. Ooh. Start every Manny with base code. If you never do that, please do. So, never tied down. A turquoise jelly, but it's got iridescent flakes, hollow glitter, and a bit of crushed hollow. It gives full coverage. 
Let's play it through. It's literally sparkling like the turquoise sea. See the jelly? Hold on, I wanna do just a little bit of education. Just a little bit of explanation. So by, there's a few different ways that people can interpret a jelly nail polish. Some jellies are like extremely sheer and you put on three coats and you can still see the visible nail line, like that line where like the white part of your nail starts. Um, but that's like done intentionally in some cases. And there's some jellies that are packed with other pigments so that the other pigments end up giving more full coverage, but it's still suspended in a jelly because the jelly base adds color to those pigments and gives it a, a level of depth and layering that looks really beautiful once you've applied two to three coats. So this is a full coverage jelly, which sounds like an oxymoron to some people, but I hope that this explanation paired with demoing, you can see that it's, it's sheer, but it's got pigments. It's got pigments, girl, like a lot of them. And then when you do the second coat, it's like full coverage. But if I like hold my hands up, I feel like I can see through my nails. So that like I can see the, like this is more like the, the top part. I can see the light coming through. Do you know what I mean? So it's not like blocking the light but it covers the color of your nail. So if any, if anyone's asking like, what does it cover like my yellow nails? Like, yes, these are full coverage jellies, but they're still jellies. Does that make sense? Will this stain? So many really intense pigments may cause staining, but it really depends on your prep use of base coat. Not everyone's nails stain. It, you, sometimes people like to double up on a base coat, you know, it depends on a few factors, but like this is a pigmented turquoise polish. So that's one coat, wide brush, wide brush. They're all the wide brush. And should we talk about that now? <laughs> I'm like getting ahead of myself. Do we talk about the brush or do, do we just wanna watch the video? Or do we just wanna see the sand polish? Staining isn't a problem if you just keep painting your nails. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we'll, we'll watch the video and then talk brush. Second coat. See, it layers up. Now I can't see anything anymore. Glossy taco. You gotta drink your water when you're on vacation. Okay, don't forget to hydrate. Apply your glossy taco. Look at this. Duh. This one is like such a beautiful shimmering ocean. I have to keep replaying it because I don't even believe it. Man! <laughs> you know he had to swatch. Okay, like if we went on vacation, okay, he's gonna do just a little bit of work. <laughs> Look, it looks stunning on short nails too. Stunning, beautiful, good job, Ben. And all the swatchers whose photos you can also see on the holotaco.com website. We have plenty of different hands, nails, fingers, people on our website on uh, more than one listing. So if you look at the collection listing, you might see different people than on the individual listings. Tax Haven, Multichrome Tanned, Gold Scattered Hollow Glitter. Oh, she's rich, rich. This one I'd say is a two to three coater, depending on how thick or thin you applied it. I applied it kind of thick here, but I've also painted my nails with this shade in three thinner coats just to build it up. Sometimes with multi-chrome, people like to do thin coats and then finish with an extra coat that like maybe doesn't seem necessary, but you do it to get the brush strokes as clean as possible. But it is a multi-chrome formula, so it's the same base formula as like Mist Shift. Mist Shift, Chameleon Coat, all those guys, it's the same base formula, different pigment that shifts from like a warm reddish copper to kind of a tanned bronze golden hue to almost like a little bit of like an amber, like a sunrise like a suitcase, like a glossy, glassy suitcase, but it's also got gold scattered hollow glitter in it just to spice it up a little bit. See? Like, come. <laughs> oh my God, I just love this combination of pigments. I think some people see this 
particular shift between like that kind of goldish orange color to like a reddish tan color as associating that with fall because it might remind people of fallen leaves kind of thing but i really feel it in a vacation there's something about the the tan like leather suitcase vibes of it the like rich cash money <laughs> i don't know about it <laughs> that i was like no i love this for vacation like i want my nails to be tanned you know come on come on man this is ben's favorite shade name Thank you, Ashley. Stunning collection. Love the different formulas. Also picked up an extra Glamethyst. Yes, don't forget. I'm sorry if I miss. Are they going to be limited edition? The collection box, as always, is limited edition. The polishes are not limited edition, but we will continue to observe how they do, how people love them when deciding whether to restock. But we made a lot of them, so don't, like, you're good for, you're good today. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, I should have included more of that background still. Looks like international shipping works with a hard refresh. What do you mean by what's a hard refresh? <laughs> I'm like, help me. <laughs> okay, the team is still working into it. Working into it. The team is still working on it and looking into it. If you are in canada or international you might experience some checkout issues due to a website bug the website's on vacation but it seems like it's working for some people do a hard reset control r okay <laughs> control shift r f5 the team is still working on it i will give another update when i have uh, an actual confirmation Look at this picture though. Look at these pictures of Tax Haven. Okay, this is the same swatcher, but the lighting is at a different angle. So with multi-chrome, the pigment and the color looks different depending on the angle of the light. So if you have your light source like way behind, you might see this kind of like golden yellow amber side. But if you have the light source directly on, you're gonna see this more warm copper bronze shade. And that's why it looks like a different polish <laughs> in every photo. It's because it's all about the lighting for this shifty multi-chrome. Perf yes, perfect for fall too. Perfect for fall, but also really like hit the mark when it came to vacation tanned multi-chrome vibes. Private Villa. Hot pink or red. Can we do a poll? We're gonna do a poll after this with golden shimmer and reflective pink glitter. Thank you, okay. When you blur it. Oh, I included blurry shots on purpose. When you blur the reflective glitter, oh my God. This, okay, Barbie, like basically. <laughs> when the reflective pigments are being lit up, it looks like hot pink Barbie. But in regular lighting, it's a little more toned down, casual, like a Shirley Temple drink. A little more red. Jelly. Another jelly polish. This one is probably the most jelly of them all, if that makes sense. And you can see the little pigments throughout. Mmm. It's so juicy. Like, you want to drink it, but don't, don't do that. Stop. Don't drink nail polish. Second coat. So I can get away with two coats. If you want like the fullest of coverage and when and so you don't see any visible nail line, you could do three. But I honestly feel like two coats is enough. And I have longer nails, which usually means it'll take me long uh, more coats. But yeah, it's mixed formula magic. So like it looks stunning. You don't even see the reflective pink glitters in this lighting. This is just regular lighting or as uh, regular my studio lighting that's very well lit but there's no um, light being put specifically for the reflective. So in normal lighting, where you have like, say you're outside, say there's like a big light on, you know, at your dinner table or whatever, you will see this beautiful kind of golden sunset shimmer shine through the hot red pink jelly. Regular lighting. Direct angle plus flash. So reflective glitter is activated 
by a direct flash that's at the angle of the where your eyes are looking. <laughs> so it's like when you see a stop sign, it's not the same as hollow, which just requires like a bright light kind of anywhere around it. Reflective pigments require a bright light at a particular angle at like your eyeball angle. So it's like when you see a stop sign at night, and you know how like your headlights light it up only when it's like approaching it at that correct angle or like w the way you see a safety vest or those badges on people who are like running at night. It's similar to that idea that you gotta have that direct flash. And then it looks like a different polish. Like what? That's the same polish. Wah! Regular lighting, direct angle plus flash. Bam, bam. And just to give some more kind of iPhone regular, not studio footage, this is the same polish in different lighting. We have outside, shade outside, where you're really gonna see the iridescent pigment come through a bit more. Indoor spotlight, which, sorry, let me back up. Which kind of shows you the shift of that iridescent. And then we have flash. She's hot, like she's, she's hot. Private villa. All the same polish, different lighting. See, same person, regular light, flash, bam. We're gonna do a poll before I continue. The team is still working on the international checkout. I apologize if you're joining in later. There is an issue. They are aware and working quickly. Okay, what color? Hold on. What color is Private Villa? You guys want to fight? I feel like fighting on vacation. Do you want to fight? Red. Pink. What other? What other colors are there? Orange. Coral? What, should, what else should we add? Coral is like in between these, but I'll add it. Pink slash magenta, this is the same thing. Okay, go. Let's fight. Fight me. Come on. Oh, we got a lot of pink magenta. Was it my fault for amalgamating these two categories? You guys just fight. I'm just gonna sit here and sip my pina colada. Mm. And that's actually really good. Okay, I'm gonna end it. Thank you for voting. Over 2,000 people voted. It's a pretty good sample survey size in like fucking 30 seconds. <laughs> the news is jealous. The news cannot relate. They're like, oh my God, it took us eight weeks to get 2,000 people to answer our survey. Okay, 68% said pink magenta, 69%, and then red. Okay, so we described it as a red pink with hot pink glitter. So I feel like that still fits, you know, the temperature check ta uh, we've taken here. Thank you, Lion Lover 2006. I got my mom her first Hello Talk of her Mother's Day. I got her three polishes and one jimmer topper. After she got them, she bought the mat and it's being de delivered today. Woo, let's go. All right, let's watch the next one. So that's reflective glitters in private villa. We're just gonna have to watch this again, too bad. Beach, please! White sand glitter, holographic gold reflective. It is literally the epitome of what you see at the beach. 
you go to a beach, a white sand beach, like in the Caribbean. Okay, we're not talking about a beach in like Toronto. Okay, no, no, no. I, <laughs> I do not mean a Toronto beach. <laughs> I mean a white sand, beautiful, stunning, the, the type of sand you want to walk on beach. And you're just like, yes. <laughs> It's that exact color and I have evidence to prove it. I color matched it. I have a picture of it literally on the sand. This is this is not the actual ocean to be clear. We did not spill nail polish in the ocean to be clear or on the sand. No sand was harmed in the making of this nail polish. Toronto has beaches, yes. See, don't go there. It's not real. It's not good. <laughs> yep. Again, a jelly polish. So it has a little bit of color to it. The jelly is kind of like a beigey white sand color, a little bit cloudy intentionally to give you that kind of sand cloud coverage. And then it's got silver holographic glitters, a bit of gold holographic glitters and gold reflective pigment, which you can kind of see in this shot, but it's not doing its reflective business yet until it's lit up properly. I wonder what this looks like as a topper. So I tried it the other day on See Y'all Later Chai. We can do that in a bit when we do comparisons. We'll do comparisons in a bit. But uh, yeah, you could wear like one coat of this over a neutral color of your choice. But if you want the fully packed, like it actually looks like you dumped sand on your nail, then you should do two to three thin coats of this formula on its own because the jelly does something beautiful. There's something about layering two to three coats of the same product that's jelly. So you can actually see it kind of grow and build up. I gave my little tip here, full coverage packed glitter, paint thinner layers and build up coverage for best results. This is a thicker polish because it is packed with like three different types of glitter because it is literally sand. So, well, it's almost basically sand. Disclaimer, not actually, but do you know what I mean? So this is a glitter polish. I would consider this one a glitter, but it's also got reflective pigments in it if we're talking about categorizing it. Aloha Beach, woke up at 5.30 Hawaii to try to get this collection. Had some issues, I apologize for that. Uh, but finally got it. Woo! -hoo -hoo, yay! Thank you. Um, I'm happy that worked out. And one ocean to another. Let's go. We would have gone to Hawaii, but next time, <laughs> the next vacation. So there's a second coat, and then I choose to do a third with thick glitters because then I kind of wiggle the glitter in for the third. Or you can sponge it on. You can absolutely sponge this polish on instead. Glossy taco, sparkle. So regular lighting, white sand, but then direct angle and flash. You see all the little gold pigments light up through. It's like the sand at night. It's like sparkly sand at night. Ben is in love. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Thank you, Angelique. Look at Ben wearing his favorite polish. This is the hummus shade. Oh my God, just compared the hummus post to Beach Please. Oh my God, Sarah, it's the same polish. You guys didn't even know. Just wait until we do the detectives review. But yeah, Chickpea Crush was always Beach Please. <laughs> People thought we were trolling. No, we were just giving you the details you didn't even know. You had no idea that we were just sharing our next release. You thought it was an April Fool's joke. No, nope. it was for real. Stunning. And yes, we have lots of swatchers wearing this shade. This shade is more of a neutral tone. So lots of different people to help you decide if you like it. But I will just say the shade wasn't inspired by like thinking about a particular person or me. I was like, I want white sand, exactly like the beach. That is the criteria. <laughs> and I really think it holds true to that name. Beach please. Okay, last up, but not least, late checkout. Purple, indigo, jelly, gold, reflective, glitter. Mm. It's the late night vacation party. It's when, you know, you're 
You, you don't want to go back to the villa yet. You're like, no, I just want to keep drinking. It's been all day. I want to keep going. So this is a shimmer polish that's buildable. It's not a multi-chrome. So you can see from the first coat, it is a jelly. This is a jelly polish with indigo shimmer pigment. On the first coat, it looks very magenta. But then those tiny little bluish indigo particles really build up. I love this collection. Thank you, Princess Blingy. <laughs> Thank you so much. So that's one coat. The second coat builds it. And then you can do a third as well. I, I like to do a third on this one because I prefer to do thin and then get full coverage. But maybe some people would like it to be a little more jelly translucent. Up to you. Glossy Taco. And for reflective glitters, I do recommend if you want it to be super glassy smooth to do a Glossy Taco, wait like an hour or two or even the next day, whatever and then do a second coat, because that will make it completely level like glass. Reflective glitters are a little bit more textured. I actually think it works in the Beach Please shade, because then it's like sand, so it's like, okay. <laughs> but if you want this shade to be a little smoother, I would do a second coat of Glass Taco. And that's with the reflective light. Look, okay, it's technically gold reflective glitter, but it looks more orange almost like leaning towards like orange pink in some lights because it's suspended in a purple jelly. So it is technically gold, but it does look like more orangey. So regular lighting. What? I love it. I love it. Like, that's insane. Like, come on. That's insane. You're telling me those are the same nail polish. Kind of looks like a multi-chrome here. It does have a shift. It goes to like kind of a magenta color at a hard angle. Pink Floyd and and then belt. this, what? This Stop. Stop it. It looks like fireworks, like fireflies. Yep. Thank you, Ho Holotov cocktail. <laughs> what? You started singing Pink Floyd and I was like, well, gotta get this for my mom. <laughs> Just it's, it's the lyric. I mean, it's not supposed to be, but it does say wish you were here. <laughs> Just got her into polish and nail care, so she'll be a pro by the time these polishes pop up under her x machine. That's so sweet of you. Get your mother a vacation. Like, incredible. You have to show people this. When you paint this on your nails, it looks like this in most lighting. But then, phone flash. I feel like I need to do a tutorial on that. Okay, I'll do it after, when we do the swatch wheel. I'm gonna show you just in case you're new to reflective pigments. Actually, let's just do a poll. Have you... worn reflective pigment nail polish before? Yes or no? I would like to know who has experience with this pigment. As far as Hollow Taco goes, we've only ever released Reflective Taco. That's the only reflective polish, and that was our topper. It was a classic silver, kind of diamond-like reflective polish, but it was a topper. So it was more sparse so that you can layer it over top of, you know, whatever you want. And that was released in the third anniversary gala collection but we brought it back because it was voted back because people were like, I need more of it. And Double Dare, oh my God, I'm fired. <laughs> Bet I need more rum. Yes, and my limited edition birthday shade. I guess I was thinking in like our current catalog. <laughs> yes, you are correct, chat. Thank you for calling me out. Double Dare had red reflective glitters in it. <laughs> I'm fired. It's a vacation brain, okay? Like, you know, it's fine. All right. So have you ever worn reflective pigment? 61% say yes, but still like 40% of you, that's two in five have not. Okay, so that helps me. The next thing I'm gonna do after this is do a little bit of a tutorial on what I mean on how to get it to show and like explain what I mean by like what light. 
Thank you. We're just doing a customer research here. Ben, Ben looks good in this shade. I love it. Okay, here we got some swatchers. Stunning, beautiful. Wish you were here. But you too can be with the purchase of this collection box for only 70 US dollars. Enjoy your leisure time. The Skittle. Mm. Don't forget to send pics, okay? Hashtag Holochaco. When you get this in the mail, we're gonna love to see your pictures. Maybe you're going on vacation. Maybe you live by a beach. Maybe there's a tree outside your window and you can just take a picture of your nails with that tree. Okay, maybe you have a palm tree behind you like I do. You know, like an inflatable palm tree. You gotta make do with what you have. It's all good, okay? I'm gonna wanna see your pictures of you guys wearing the collection in front of whatever vacation you have in front of you. <laughs> and use hashtag holotaco or hashtag holotaco vacation. Do we have an update, Ben, on the shipping fix? Um, I do have a few more things to do with you guys on stream. I have detective stuff. I have my slideshow vacation stuff. So you can see the behind the scenes. I have a giveaway. There's a pineapple stuck. We were gonna do comparisons. Oh, brushes. Okay, let's talk about brushes, yes. So. All five of these shades. Thank you. Thank you, Natty Bean. In Canada, you just got it. Okay, thank you. All five of these shades come with the wider brush. So in Holotaco language, that's a thick width brush. Because these were all mixed formulas, we kind of had, you know, an opportunity to question what should the collection brush be. After Hollow Royalty voted for the wide brush to be included in all three of the polishes that won, that were released, whether it was a linear hollow, a frosted metal, or a hollow glitter, the data was clear from the Hollow Royalty survey that wide brush was preferred to the skinny brush across those three formulas. And we also had a category where people could select indifferent, like they didn't care whether it was wide or the narrow brush, but more people still said wide brush than indifferent and skinny combined, something like that. So we use that data to then say, okay, if we're gonna consider that, and if, if people are, you know, we're looking at data, people are saying they want more wide, but I'm also really, I care about the people who want the opportunity or the option of having a skinny brush. So we still continue to sell the skinny brush replacements as we do with the, the wide ones. And they're currently both available in the reward section. So if you have points, you can redeem them for replacement skinny brushes or wide brushes, whatever it is. We have both of them in there now. And we're gonna try and keep those in the rewards options so that you guys can like use your rewards for something like that that you actually wanna swap out. But yeah. So a lot of people are happy about the wide brushes, but I used the data, I looked at the majority, I looked at Hollow Royalty, which is an incredibly important customer segment to us. At, you know, Hollow Taco, those are our most dedicated customers. And because of their votes on Royalty, we decided to extrapolate and extend that to this collection. I also think that even if we were to decide like, okay, well maybe the multi-chrome gets uh, the wide brush because of formula, maybe people find that a bit easier, but like the jelly could be a thin brush because it doesn't matter as much, you know, to spread the pigment in the same way that it does a multi-chrome. We could have done that, but then it would have been like really confusing, like what brushes. So for continuity and for consistency, we just said, okay, whole collection wide, we're using royalty data and preferences, and we're gonna evaluate and see how people respond to it. So th th that's kind of what this is. I don't have an update on like the future of all brushes. 
This is our first time trying out all wide and we're gonna see how people react, how they like it in the different formulas because different mix formulas is something that I think we're gonna do more of. This is the first little foray other than Remix and Gala. Other than Remix and Gala, this is the first time we're doing a mix formula collection where we're really doing something creative, picking different formulas that don't have a precedent or exist exactly as is on Holo Taco already. And it gives us a bit of creative freedom to come up with new concoctions for you guys and then see what you like. This is kind of how Crushed Holo was born. So remember Highest Bitter from the Gala collection? I didn't call it Crushed Hollow then because I didn't know it was gonna become like a whole formula that people really like, but people did like the highest bitter formula, but you know, maybe it wasn't in the palette that you were you were thinking of. So when we released Barista, I was really like, I wanna re-energize highest bitter formula, but do it in like a neutral palette. I feel like people are really gonna love it. And when they see what this formula can do, then they will <laughs> they will want more. So maybe that'll happen again. If you guys like any particular formula in here and you're like, I really love this. I'd love to see more of these shades, more collections or formulas like this one in different colors. This is like our experiment in that. And we'll see, the data will tell, you know, the qualitative responses in the comment section will tell. But we're excited to see how you guys love these new formulas and use of the wider brush. Heck, heck yes, love your methodology. Thank you. <laughs> okay, give me two seconds. Okay. So, uh, no, Holo Taco still will give you the option to cover duties and taxes internationally. There has been issues since launch, but it sounds like those issues are subsiding. I think it was in part a volume problem. So if you're an international customer and you've been having trouble checking out, try again, I know. <laughs> but now that the volume has subsided, I think like US customers have like come and checked out. I know, this it's like customs. Oh my God, it's like customs. <laughs> no. And if you're in America, it's, it's like having a Nexus card. Okay, you might need to do a hard reset, but if you all do it at the same time, it may not work either. Cause I, it sounds like it's a volume issue. Your purchase went through on your phone. So hard reset to your browser. The other thing is, is if you don't do a hard reset or clear your cache, I think it's just gonna think you're on the same website before the fix happened. So it'll never work until you like log out, log in, refresh, clear your cookies. I'm not a tech person, but I feel like that's probably it. It could be maybe one thing. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> It's not a browser issue, it's um, something on the back end. But if you try a new browser, maybe you don't have cookies that exist on Holo Taco, so that might work. Finally worked for you in the Philippines. I just kept trying until the shipping options appeared. Well, that's dedication, Rachel. It's not a browser, like for people saying Chrome didn't work, but Safari did. I don't think it's a browser issue, it's just one of your browsers might have a record that isn't cleared, that's not letting it work. You know what I mean? I deeply apologize for the shipping errors that are happening internationally. I don't know why. I don't have answers yet. Other than the, the website, you know, is on trying to go on vacation, but it, it can't, we won't let it. All right, let's take a look at the website. Yeah, let's walk through the website and then I would like to do a 
So I was gonna count. Will we bring the tool? Well, the tool set is not in stock, so no. Um, we're trying to restock the Rainbow Tool Chrome Kit, but when it comes back in stock, we won't be adding it to rewards because we have to let people who wanted to purchase it, purchase it. The reason why it went out of stock and now we like couldn't get any for a long time is because we had it in the rewards program. So, so many people redeemed it. And then we realized, oh, now we have none. <laughs> so I don't think we're gonna be able to do that, at least for the short term. So the next things we're gonna do, while the team continues to work on international shipping issues, is look at the Holotaco website, look at all the wonderful swatchers. Then I have a slideshow I'd like to show you. So you can see behind the scenes of the vacation collection. And then I have a video put together to evaluate the Holo Taco detective's work. Stay tuned for that absolute chaos. And then we can do bingo. Is the summer collection for, is this the summer collection? Oops, ah, sorry. <laughs> like replacing the rainbow? This isn't replacing anything. I mean, this has summer vibes, but we have another collection in this actual summer, if that's your question. <laughs> this isn't replacing anything. We're not like kicking things out because of this. Oh, and comparisons. We'll do slideshow and comparisons. I'm just added that to my list. Why didn't I have it there? My own chat is reminding me. I'm on vacation. What did I say? You guys are gonna work, not me. Okay, I would like to do the website first. Let's do this. All right, the vacation collection. Okay, let's go. I know you've heard it all, but let's do it again. This is the best weekend. Thank you, Mike. Last night, Taylor Swift put on a show in Gillette. Just bought the collection in a lavender haze. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> ben loves this. Thank you, Katie. We're gonna make it through. Feeling burnt out? You deserve a vacation collection. Tap into this all-inclusive nail painting experience with a limited edition vacation themed collector's box that brings the beach to you. You don't have to go anywhere. That's what I like to hear. Go nowhere. Don't leave the house, okay? Just order this when the shipping issues are resolved and then it'll arrive at your door and then you just paint your nails. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Unpack five new specialty formulas and explore the wonders of our new range of holographic, iridescent, and reflective glitter mixes and a refreshing palette for some fun in the sun. Be sure to send pics. It's a vacation without traveling. No airports. No children. <laughs> unless you have them at home. <laughs> it's just peace, tranquility, and relaxation to your door. Here it is on it. This is a fake beach for the record. I know it, it looks very real. This palm tree is totally to scale. But yeah, there's the box. Again, it's got that holographic film on top, so it'll look different. There's the five looking so cute together. And I mean, like on the beach, it literally, like, come on. It was built for the beach. It was made for the beach. This is regular lighting which we've learned from the video that three of them will look different. And then we've got Ben. We love our swatcher, Ben. Had to make him work just a little bit before he went on that vacation. Never tied down. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna do all the individual listings so I won't gush too much. I'll just kind of scan through these and then we'll do the individuals one at a time. And here's a GIF that shows you the difference of regular light versus flash. The base of the polish doesn't actually get darker, but when you change the lighting to show the flash, like the reflective pigments, one stands out more than the other. Does that make sense? Like the, the jelly is the same color, but when you're looking at it in a darker setting and the reflective pigments are lighting up, but your just eyes make play tricks on you and it looks like the base is darker. Do you know what I mean? I think that makes sense. The mini stuff. My team found them all on Amazon or like whatever. Actually, I don't know if it was Amazon. You mean these little chairs? Would you like a seat? Here. 
Okay, I'm gonna fix chat a chair. Why didn't I do this before? I'm so rude. Here you go, chat. Oh my god, this is one I actually brought back from the beach. It has sand on it. It's real. Here you go. This is for you. That's you. So cute. It's it's hollow taco polished storage. Perfect size. Unfortunately, we sold out of these already. Yeah, you guys missed it. We we're getting into the mini chair business, but we already sold out. It's just doing so well. Would you like to take a seat next? Never tied down? There you go. Wait, wait, wait. I have a second chair. This is so much more important than reading the website. <laughs> My nail polish needs to sit down. It's tired. It's been working so hard, looking so good. Okay. There we go. Okay, friends. Look at these friends in the sun. Little cuties. <laughs> it's me and Ben. We're just chilling. I'm chilling. You're chilling. The team is working on the issues with international shipping. Yes, if you're joining, we are still working on that. The website has decided to take a temporary vacation. So we're aware of the shipping issue that's being caused at checkout for some international customers. And they're still trying to work on it. If you want to try and figure it out yourself, I some people have suggested clearing your cache, resetting your browser, trying a new browser. Maybe try logging out and then back into your account. Yeah, some people are saying I just got it to work in Canada. Um, okay, other advice is yeah, just try a new browser. I think that might be in part because it doesn't remember what you did on your last browser. They need an umbrella? There we go, you guys gotta share. Okay, cuties, there you go. USA is not international, right? <laughs> you know, okay, you're not wrong. It's really weird. You're, you're actually so correct. It's very weird that we're all just sitting here referring to international as everything but US. Chatter makes a great point. <laughs> but you're right, the world revolves around America. So if you're not in America, you're international. Yeah, that's how it works. Is Essex a country? We're still not sure. Show sand? Okay, sand gets a seat next. We're just doing a little swap in, swap out. There's the sand polish! Thank you, Liz. Secured, let's go. You go back from Punta Cana? That's where I was. Here's the sand polish. Literally perfect sand, okay? I dreamed it. I wanted it. We made it. You're gonna get it. Yes, Amazon has tiny beach chairs if anyone else wants to do this themselves. <laughs> okay, back to this. Sand polish. Sand, 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 give me sand. Regular, sorry, regular light and uh, flash. The difference being that the little golden glitters are gonna reflect more. Oh, <laughs> damn. We're gonna do a poll after this of what's your favorite and then I'm gonna look at preliminary sales data, although it feels unfair to do that when people have had shipping issues, but, or cart issues, not shipping issues. All right, 
Never tied down. Let's look at this one. New mindset just dropped and it's never tied down. Ride the sparkly wave of this unique turquoise jelly shade and discover treasure troughs of iridescent flakes, glimmering crushed hollow and holographic glitters. It's got three different pigments in it and just the combination of them all gives such beautiful jelly butt full coverage at the same time. Like, come on, come on. You wanna look like the ocean? You, can, you two can be the ocean, put it on your nails. It just sparkles so beautifully. If you look like up close, you can see the little iridescence, but from far away, it just like, it just gives such a serene, peaceful, like water calming vibe. Here, here's a macro for everyone who's like, but I need a microscope. <laughs> You want to drink it? You want to swim in it. What's a treasure trough? What is a treasure? A treasure trough. Isn't that a trough? Do I not know the word? <laughs> oh my god, is it treasure trove? What's a trough? What's a trough? Isn't that something? Like what? What's a trough? A long, narrow, open container for animals <laughs> for animals to eat or drink out of. <laughs> oh my god! I said eat the nail polish, and I called you an animal, and I didn't even know it. I'm fired. <laughs> oh my God. It's a treasure drop. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm on vacation. Whatever. It's fine. Just who cares? It's pretty. Like, what does it matter what it says? I'm next time. I'm just going to write nothing. Mm hmm. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna delete the whole, all of this. You don't read it anyways. You don't know how to read. The only thing you need to read is the description of what's in it. <laughs> Turquoise jelly with iridescent flakes, holographic glitter and crushed hollow for all the crushed hollow fiends. Oh, oh. Do you recognize these? It's a treasure trunks. Okay. Do you remember I said these remind me of something undisclosed once on stream for all the detectives? Yeah, it's this. We're just gonna rename the shade actually. Maybe I should name a shade treasure trough once or just like animal trough. <laughs> It could be a trough. I mean, you can put treasure in a trough. That's what I meant. Yeah, future shade name just dropped. <laughs> Detectives will be able to predict it, I'm sure. You fixed it? No, Ben. <laughs> Someone fixed it. <laughs> Who fixed it? No, I wanted it to be wrong. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> the team is busy fixing on uh, the international checkout and also my copywriting. Oh no, it was Ben. <laughs> it was Ben. <laughs> ben, why'd you fix it? We love live mistakes. <laughs> New shade treasure trough, exactly. <laughs> okay, anyways, where were we? Serious review of the shade time. Okay, next up, let's do Ben's favorite shade name, Tax Haven. Looking for a tax haven for your nail polish investments? Shelter your nails in this rich tan colored multi-chrome that shifts through shades of warm bronze and copper with a surprise golden holographic sparkle throughout. Matches your getaway suitcase perfectly. And like, I mean, come on, look, Ben wearing it, leather, 
suitcase, glossy, sparkly, stunning. Not legally endorsing tax havens, of course. Just, you know, playful, fun allusion to them and their and the color, I imagine they are. Which they are not a color. I don't think that's how that works. But if they were, they would look like this. <laughs> A perfect petty color. Yeah, we've been uh, we've been too conservative in the past, where we wanted to name one tax evasion, but then was like, okay, tax evasion is literally illegal. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> questionable at most. So we renamed it to cat's evasion. But you know what? I don't want to be afraid anymore. This is just fun. It is nail polish. And this is a multi-chrome formula that shifts between bronze and gold with a scattered hollow glitter. Here's an up close so you can kind of see the scattered hollow glitter. It's gold, so it complements it really nicely. And then depending on the lighting, it's gonna look different shades. Like this is really glowing and that nice tan bronze color. Here you're seeing more of the yellow golden glow. And then in some lights, you'll get a more reddish warm copper. Just very versatile, so rich. I love it. We love it. Okay, what does Ben say? If shipping rate does not calculate, please go back to your cart page or re-enter the address to trigger the recalculation. Okay, you hear that international customers? We apologize for the issues. The website has decided to go on vacation. It's just international shipping when you go to check out. So if you go back to your cart and wipe your address information, put it back in. And then I think the system will be like, okay, now we're awake. It worked. It works now. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Okay, people are reporting it's working internationally. So wipe your information. Close it, sign out, sign back in, do all the things, and then try it again. It worked for the Netherlands! Fuck yeah, let's go! Clearing cash and cookies can also help as it resets cart shipping address, yeah. Shout out to the Hello Taco team! Thank you, Francis. One, one release at a time. Okay. I apologize, international customers, for the issue on the website. It seems like it's fixed now. You just might need to wipe your cart. So let your friends know. If, if they left and were frustrated, let people know. Say, international shipping works again. We apologize. Just refresh, wipe your address, and there, there we go. Woo! We are still good on stock, so do not worry, international customers. Because a lot of people couldn't check out, <laughs> I think like it held back some, so we're good. So um, <clears throat> this shade is compliant with a stunning multi-chrome, and it is, uh, it's illegally beautiful. That's what it is, okay? Sorry, that song was a lot, but it's done now. All right, next up, Private Villa. It's time to fulfill your private villa fantasy. Whether lounging by the infinity pool, in the sunshine, or savoring that romantic dinner on the beach, which we did do, I have a picture. This radiant red-pink jelly, we've all agreed it's pink. I could just drop red, but I feel like some people, you know, kind of see red. I just put, what if I do red, pink, orange, coral? Next time I'm just gonna write all the colors so no one can say I'm wrong. <laughs> Is it red, pink, or pink, red? Ban! You fixed it? Well, not you. <laughs> ben did I'm not, not fix doing it. Anything. <laughs> Thank you, team. Thank you, Ben, for helping, you know, orchestrate whatever. Yeah. Everything good? It was the tool that calculates shipping and customs and duties, wasn't working properly. 
especially with the volume at the beginning. Today, it decides to not work properly. Uh, yeah. Rude. Went on vacation. You like my shirt? <laughs> ben, get out of here! Oh my God, don't fall over, that's my palm tree. Look, he brought his Fiji water. <laughs> yeah, what would exactly, Mac, what would a launch of mine be without a glitch? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just sitting here. Ben's just sitting in the kids section. He's in the kiddie pool. Wow. Is it pink, red, or red, pink? Private villa. I think it's pink, red. You said it was red, pink when we talked about oh, it. Oh, no, you're right. It's red, pink. Yeah, that's why we put red, well, pink. Is it a pinkish red or is it a reddish pink? Or is it a it, radish? It honestly depends on the photo. Ocean spray cranberry cocktail. It takes two years to grow a pineapple? That's so long. It took two years to come out with this collection. <laughs> <laughs> I blame Julian. Mm. Yes, I will add it to the wheel. What do you mean you blame Julian? It was gonna come out and then the Julian one happened. Oh yeah, that's true. We were thinking about releasing this last spring time, like around this time, except Julian had to have a lunch. I didn't get a vacation because of Julian. <laughs> yeah, it's all his fault. And so we pushed it another full year. <laughs> Ashley Strong says it's pinkish red. It's pinkish red. It looks so hot pink though in some photos and then in other photos I see more coral and this isn't like just the swatchers this is the fact that in different lightings it's gonna look different so lots of variety to really give you the full vibe feel of this polish Where's reflective it? do you have the slideshow yeah I was gonna do that after these I want to watch it can I see it can we do can I do it later I'd like to do it in a bit. <laughs> you, you can watch. I want to see the slide. You can watch it downstairs. It's happy vacation, memory. Okay, like hold on, Ben. I'm trying to read my descriptions that might have errors in them. Oh, treasure trove. Treasure trough. <laughs> when you kept saying it, I didn't understand. A trough? I don't know. Okay, we we will do comparisons next. Beach, please. Not a fan of the sand. Beach, please. Chat. Saying the same thing over and once. Beach, please. <laughs> Have a seat in your sun lounger. <laughs> and enjoy a little rest and relaxation with this sand-inspired glitter polish. Brimming with holographic and reflective gold glitters. It's the perfect match for a sparkling white sand castle. Don't fall asleep in the sun. You will get burned. Here's Bane in it. This is his shade. I mean, it is was the hummus shade, so yeah. This was the hummus shade, but it is literally sand. Like, <laughs> you ask for sand, you get sand. Beach, please. Relax. Regular light and flash to get those gold glitters really lighting up. That'd be regular light. This would be flash. This would be regular light. So you'll still see the holographic sparkle in regular light. But then when you light it up with a specific direct angle, you'll get that gold reflective glitter. I feel like this is gonna be a polarizing shade. Some people have like good feelings or bad feelings when they think of like sand. I love it. I love the chaos. Let's go. It will always be hummus to me, sure. Okay, last up, we've got late checkout, then I'm gonna do a poll and I'm gonna compare it to sales data. Late checkout. Dear customer, please note, painting your nails with this mesmerizing polish may lead to a late checkout. This beautiful purple indigo jelly shimmer shade dazzles under a flash with its golden reflective glitters. Pamper yourself with a couple coats and enjoy endless entertainment at your own pace, guaranteed. If you paint your nails really slow, It'll take you a long time, but maybe you'll enjoy it. If you paint your nails fast, I hope you have a cleanup brush. But you know, they'll look fabulous either way. We've got regular lighting and flash again. So really fun, kind of got that indigo glow. 
in regular lighting, but then under flash, that's where this nail polish comes alive at night. Woo! Do you see how in this one, like they are gold reflective glitters, but because they're suspended in a purple jelly, they kind of look like orange, like orange sunset vibes too. Stunning. Oh! Also, yes, great polish for Halloween. It's a midnight spark debate. Okay, should we should we fight? Let's. You guys tell me what color this is. Ready? What color is late Checo? Purple, indigo, blue, or orange? I will cycle back through all the pictures because depending on the light, it's gonna lean different ways. See this? They lean different. Thank you, Garfield. The cat, I finally managed to check out for international shipping. Close your browser, clear your cookies, and check in again. Thank you. There's a cat hair in my nose. What color is this nail polish? How long will we fight over this? Again, okay? I do have a comparison to Midnight Spark. Actually, let me see if Holo Taco posted. Do you guys remember this song? Does this song have nostalgia vibes? Taco already posted some shade comparisons, so you can see it full screen if you just go to our stories. But let's talk about what color this is. What color is late checkout? 47% think it's purple. 41% think it's indigo. Wow, that's really close. 3% think it's blue. <laughs> Poor blue people. 9% think it's orange. Wow, that's that's like 1 in 10. It's a lot. <laughs> okay, it looks like purple and indigo. Right, I think it's purple and indigo. So, as described, wow, did I describe this correctly? Holy shit. <laughs> Round of applause for me? Thank you. Yes, I would like to thank me for describing this nail polish accurately. <laughs> I did good, okay. So that's all the shades on the website. And yes, we still have the collection box available. We have a lot, we made a lot, we planned a lot in advance and international shipping checkout does appear to be working. So uh, everyone have a shot. Here you go. El, El Dorado 12 year old rum. 12 years old, that's not old enough to drink. What? Okay, let's do a poll. You guys are gonna pick your favorite shade. Ready? What's your fave vacation shade? You have to pick one because Susan. And we're gonna have to do two pulls. So mod mods, I will need your help to remember the first poll if you wanna put it in our mod chat once it's completed. Tax statement. So let's add everything but the purple. And then I'll add the purple in the second one. Okay, go ahead. If you're here live, we need your data. We'd love a, a, a chunkier sample size. Let's get a thick sample size, please. This is the customer opinion data. 
And then we're gonna take this and I'm gonna compare it to early sales data, at least towards the end of stream once people have had a chance to check out. So please get your votes in. If you had to pick one, which one do you, would you pick? I know, I know most people are gonna say, I love them all, or I love three of them, or two of them, or whatever. I understand that. So yes, these are, just, these are two different types of methodologies we're using here because the sales data, people are picking more than one. In fact, most people buy all of them. So there's that. I can't wait for my first box. It's so pretty. Thank you. Yes, this is a fun first box. The fun 18th box. Wait, how many boxes have we had? I don't know. Never Tied Down is beautiful, but Tax Haven was a really nice surprise. Mm hmm. Who said Sophia? Where'd she go? Is she still a mod on here? Oh, there. I like Beach Please. Okay. You just skewed the votes. Now people are going to vote for Beach Please. <laughs> Hello, Sophia. You can't tempt us with the orange option when there's nearly orange reflective glitter in it. You're begging us to be orange. What are you talking about? What? What trolls? What orange trolls? Sophia's here. That's probably on your bingo cards because it is in every other one. So there you go. Did someone get bingo? <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the results. What's your favorite if you had to pick one just of these four because Susan didn't give us five poll options before she left? Rude. Never tied down. Wow, a clear winner for this guy. I mean, like, that's not a bad choice. This is kind of the theme that sets the tone for the whole vacation. It's that ch beautiful turquoise Caribbean sea watercolor. So 39%. I'm not surprised that's the favorite. But we're going to see in terms of sales if that lines up. Then we've got Beach Police. Real, like that's like, I'm surprised. Actually, actually, no, I'm not. Wait a second. I am not surprised that Beach Please is high on the customer opinion, but I suspect, I hypothesize that it will not be as high on the sales <laughs> when it comes to individuals. But like, whatever, you know, like every time we do that, yes, usually the, the brown or neutral or beige colors tend to not sell as well unless that's the only thing in the collection, like the barista collection. But we'll see. I'd love to be surprised. Then we have Tax Haven and then Private Villa. Interesting that Tax Haven is just marginally higher, but still than Private Villa. I thought Private Villa was gonna be a favorite with like people saying like hot pink, give me that like, you know, summer hibiscus color. Okay, I'm gonna end the poll. So the mods can screen grab that. Now I'm gonna do a second one. The bingo link is in the Discord, but I will link it at the end when I when I play later. Gotta play all the games. Okay, what's your fave vacation shade, part two? So let's just yeah, let's get let's kick out Never Tied Down, and just do the others that one was just so clear like wow you guys are really want to go for a swim private villa beach please and late checkout okay poll number two dropping now Um, ben, can we drop this pin if we think people have have overcome the checkout issues? You guys tell me, are people still having issues with international checkout or are we good now? Are we Gucci? Are we all set to sail? Are we boarding? Are we taking off? We're calling zone one. Okay, I'll, I'll leave the pin just in case. Late checkout was very literal. No! <laughs> I didn't do this on purpose, international customers. I did not cause you a late checkout on purpose. 
I deeply apologize for your inconvenience. Please continue to fly with us again. Please, I beg you. <laughs> oh my god, I had a late checkout in the store! Fuck. Fuck. Upgrade shipping to get your collection box shipped in first class. Yeah, we don't we don't do that. <laughs> uh, I do have a picture of this collection box flying in first class, though. I will show you that next. I'm really surprised private villa is low. I'm a minority with this vote for a change. Yes, I'm surprised too because hot pinks or reds or corals tend to sell really well just in general in the nail polish industry. But if you're a hollow taco customer you're not a typical consumer of nail polish. You are atypical. You are a weirdo. <laughs> and that has been evidenced time and time again because the pinks and reds are not our top sellers, even though we have them. Yeah, it's always like purple that's a top seller, but that's not the same in the drugstore. Like their top seller is like baby pink. Yeah, you guys aren't normal. You want wild, wacky colors and wacky combinations. So let's let's take a look here. What's your favorite vacation shade part two? 46% late checkout. Oh my God, do I need to do another one with late checkout and never tie down? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, late checkout, then beach please, then tax haven and private villa. Okay, interesting. I'm ending this so the mods can grab that one. Please and thank you, mod love. Now let's do one more poll to break the tie. Pick one. Never tied down. Late checkout. Okay. Now you must pick one. You're choosing between never tied down, the turquoise jelly with iridescent shimmer, hollow glitter, and crushed hollow, or late checkout, a purple indigo jelly shimmer polish with gold reflective glitter. Say that 10 times fast. We gotta break the tide. <laughs> oh my God, the votes are so split. Come on, get that sample size up. Come on. How is there almost 5,000 people watching this, but only 1,800 votes, okay? Like, you have to participate in this community. You think you're on vacation from voting in this poll? No. Come on, help us split the tide. Why is this so hard? I know. Here, I'll pull up a holistic picture. These two are fighting. They're f duking it out. While you guys fight, I'm gonna put some sunscreen on my lips. <laughs> uh, I wanna do the slideshow next, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the slideshow and then comparisons and then detectives. We have so much to do on this vacation. Okay, are you kidding me? Come on, come on. I, I'm not gonna end the poll with like 49 and 51. That's too close. The margin of error is too small. We need more data. Keep going, keep going, keep fighting. This is actually good, I drank it all. god come on guys it's 50 percent okay i'm gonna i'm gonna take a quick vacation pee break and when i come back there better be at least more than two percent differentiating the two okay gonna run a quick little addy for susan keep voting stop it fix this when i come back i swear to god
What did I say? What did I say? Do we have to end it with late checkout? Just having like the tiniest. Oh my, stop! <laughs> no, I should have ended it. No. Okay, the next time it flips, I'm ending it. We need a winner. Is it gonna be never tied down or late checkout? Fight, 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 fight. Keep going, keep going. 3,000 of you have answered the poll. There we go, I'm ending it. No, shit, I missed it. <laughs> One second, I wasn't quick enough. Okay, I'm focused, I'm focused, I'm ready. Come on, come on. This is a hard game. It requires lots of concentration and participation from the audience to vote one or the other. I don't care, but just make sure you guys vote in a way that splits this somehow. Please, I beg you. I beg you, we can't be tied forever. You just wanna be in vacation limbo. It kind of makes sense that we're tied, eh? It's a tide. Yeah, what are we gonna do? Everyone had a late checkout and then we had a tide. I can't believe it. We're still increasing in sample size and it's still 50-50. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I think we're just gonna have to end it and declare it an official tie that the customers can't decide. They love never tied down and late checkout equally. Amazing. For 3,000 people, exactly split down the middle. Incredible. Okay. So, I'm just grabbing from the mods. Thank you, mods, for getting me this info. Let me just take a look-see. So, since you guys can't decide, we have Never Tied Down and Late Checkout at the top. So th those are both at the top for customer data. Or sorry, for, uh, who are you? <laughs> for stream viewer data. And then the next one was Beach Please. And then, oh, did people change their minds? Private Villa. They did, what the heck? Look, they changed their minds. What is this? Uh, what is this inconsistent? On one poll, more people voted Tax Haven higher, and on another one, Tax Haven was lower? <laughs> okay, whatever. Ben says I'm overcomplicating this. <laughs> I'm just trying to be a, a research scientist, okay? It's fine. Let's do another poll. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Never tied down and late checkout are tied. Then beach, please. And then private villa and tax haven. We also can't decide, but they're at the bottom. For customer data. At the top. We've got never tied down. More than late checkout. So a tie has been broken with customer sales data. <laughs> Unlike you guys who can't make up your mind, customers are more often checking out with Never Tied Down. I will just caveat this though, that the vast majority of people are purchasing everything in the collection because they're buying the collection box. But of those, the minority who are purchasing individuals, this is very early data. I'm sure things can change in the next week. You never know. But Never Tied Down is first, and then Late Checkout is second. So like that's okay, aligned, but we do see a difference. 
Yeah, and then beach, please. Oh my God, that's shocking. Okay, shocking, I was wrong. Beach Police is the third best seller in this collection. I just assumed, I was like, no one's gonna buy this, but they're gonna love to talk about it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, but like, I'm like, I don't care. I want White Sand Beach. <laughs> Amazing. Wow, I can't believe it. Thank you guys showing some love to Beach Police. That's incredible. Woo, yay, sand polish. Because she's beautiful. Late checkout looks exactly like youper light. I don't know what that is, but thank you for the super chat. Are you going to make your video of your vacation like a fan trip? I do not, but I have a slideshow that I'm gonna share with you next. Because it's sandy hummus. We love the sandy hummus. And then yes, private villa and tax haven are on the lower end relative to these just for individual sales. So that's very much on par with customer opinion. The only really diff the only real difference is you guys could not decide between never tied down and late checkout the purple and the turquoise but sales have decided it's definitely never tied down which i kind of consider like the hero shade for this collection it's like the one that sets the tone because it is literally the ocean it's the sea okay i would like to do a slideshow i put together a, a vacation slideshow for you Oops. I said I put together a vacation slide show for you. There we go. Okay, Ben, here's your slideshow. So you guys know that we went on vacation because it was required. You know, we had to shoot, like unfortunately, we had to, to travel to a beautiful, sunny, bright, sand and sunshine location because we had to get the right photos. It was really important to take this box to a location where it deserves to be, to see it in its full glory, to see what inspired it, to pay homage, we, you know, we had to take it on a trip. It deserves it. And here it is in the airport. Did anyone recognize me? Yes, one girl who took my ticket was like, oh my God, I love you. And I was like, thanks. <laughs> Don't tell anyone because I'm just holding the box. Yeah, yes, I was holding the box in the airport like most people don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just like some girl taking pictures with the box. <laughs> there it is, looking absolutely stunning in the sunshine in the window. And uh, here it is enjoying its breakfast. It had a glass of champagne, a little mimosa. I was a little bit disappointed it wasn't like a flute glass, like a champagne flute. But then I realized that's like not a good idea on an airplane, right? You know, that's somewhere likely to break with turbulence. Uh, but uh, this is, there is champagne. She was enjoying a mimosa, okay? She had her little fruit, a little oats and chia. Delicious, wonderful experience. First class uh, collection box traveler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we landed in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic and we got up or I got up every day at sunrise just to take this picture. She looks good. And here, this is literally in spot, like it's the same picture. Spot the difference, you can't. We have a stunning sunrise and then a beautiful box here. So perfect. It li literally looks like this. What is this? This is a new emote? Wow. The box was traveling in style. Of course she is. The sunrise sun is glorious it's glamorous it just hits things so perfectly and these are all taken with my iphone by the way these are all iphone shots uh no photoshop just sunrise just beautiful nail polish no photoshop <laughs> we were on the golf course very happy ben is extremely happy that we were taking our little baby on vacation we're like come on you gotta come too okay we're gonna get pictures with you Please look up Youper Light and compare with Beach, please. Oh, oh, it's a, it's like a stem. 
or a stem youper light. It's a stone? What? Oh my god, that looks like late checkout. Wait, is it purple or is it gray? What the fuck? Is it on fire? Is it on fire? <laughs> it's so pretty. Wait. Well, you probably find them at like rock beaches, right? Not um not a sandy beach. That's crazy. Glowing rocks. I want those. Youper. Then we can call a shade name Youp. Youp. That's so pretty. Yeah, it looks like it's on fire. I love it. Or it has reflective glitters in it, one or the other. Okay, where were we? Taking our our, our uh, vacation collection on vacation. Very happy. This is around seven in the morning. The sun was just rising. There's a picture of mom. <laughs> looking mom-like. Looking mother with her baby, you know, in the sun, stunning. And then here's the same picture, but from the other side. <laughs> this one was with the sunrise and this one is uh, the opposite the opposite side you have to you have to get all the angles the nails are the main event here this is like the specific sunrise angle where you get that hard angle so tax haven is really looking like that glowing amber color and late checkout is looking like that warmer purple color because it's at the angle it's so crazy how it does that but this is the beach at like seven in the morning no one was there because who goes to the beach at seven unless you're us there there she is stunning crisp clean white sand beaches before the day hit before the people hit We got her her own bed? King size bed. <laughs> Had to make sure she was comfortable. And she would, uh, you know, during the day she'd travel, go sit wherever she can. Just casually chilling by the pool on her own little pedestal. Occasionally a person would walk by and wonder what we were doing. Putting the collection box in obscure places. But, uh, you know, we just said, just relax. It's fine. Just relax. We got this. It's good. Okay. Wish you were here in this uh, private plunge pool. It is the perfect color. Here's the box in a cove, which kind of just looks like a cave in the resort. If you walk down, there's like uh, rose petals everywhere because they, I'm pretty sure they were filming like an episode of The Bachelor. <laughs> okay. Maybe they weren't, but it looks like that was the energy. You know, there was like a wooden platform where like maybe people like do get married or whatever. And then there was rose petals everywhere. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> but I think it's the same service that they did for us on the beach. So like unsuspecting people who are just having dinner with roses, then have staff congratulate them. True story, that's what happened to me. Who watched your cats? My sister, Jan. There's the box on the beach. And uh, here's a better shot of it with hollow. I was taking most of the pictures where you could really see the hollow and then Ben was like, you need to take more pictures where it looks like regular lighting. So this this one's for Ben. <laughs> Here's the box waiting for the bar to open. The bar only opened at like 12 and you know, it was 7 a.m. The sun was up. We're like, we're ready. Okay, like where? Where's the party? <laughs> Where's the people? Where's the pina coladas? I'm awake, like I'm up now. What are we doing? <laughs> Where's my drink? Just chilling. I think this is by the golf course. The, the box got tired after walking the golf course. So it just decided to come hang out by this little pond. Oh, iguanas. There was giant iguanas. These, this is an iguana, right? Kind of looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> I, like someone might know more than me, but the resort manager was commenting to us and some other people staying there that there was a family of iguanas nearby so that we could see them and take pictures. 
But like, it's a fucking big iguana, right? Like, I'm like, I don't know. I'm just listening to what this guy's saying. He sounds like you know what he's talking about. But is that an iguana? Yes, it's a rhinoceros iguana. That's why it's so big. Cool. It's an iguana, iguana trough, trough. A trough of iguanas. Like literally giant, look at him. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's so big. Like, he looks like he could use a little hug, you know? For, for reference, we were several meters away, but like, he was huge. If we could have put the collection, like we weren't going to, but just if the collection box was beside him, he would be like this big. Yeah, he's a little chonky chonk. We love him. Anyways, uh, we made friends on vacation. The box was like, oh, I love you. And uh, we would have left it there for him as like a little tanning bed. He wanted to lick the hollow. Mm -hmm. It was a 40 pound iguana. We added him to the PR list. All right, then we painted Ben's nails. There's something about the sunshine there that I cannot replicate. What kind of dog is that? It's a cat, obviously. There's something about Tax Haven that I can't replicate in studio lights that just like, pfft, just take an iPhone photo in the actual sunshine on vacation and it will just look amazing. Come on, this is an underwater shot. You put a multi-chrome underwater, it looks stunning. Beautiful Manny Ben. Ben is sporting Tax Haven and Beach Please, his two favorite shades. And I think that combo just looks really cool. It's got the bronze and the gold and the white sand look together. Oh, and did I mention my nails also match the pool and the ocean and the umbrellas at the resort? When we got to the resort, I'm like, oh my God, the resort color is the color of Never Tied Down. I did not plan this. I did not know this, but all the towels, all the umbrellas, a lot of the chairs, their color was this kind of turquoise sea color. And I was like, it's perfect. We've been waiting to come here all our lives because it matches so well. Yeah, a little matchy matchy. This shot was also taken around like eight in the morning because the sun's like way over there. This is an iPhone shot. Like, can I just for a second, like, oh my God, like why is this such a good shot? It looks professional. <laughs> nope, just me on my iPhone kneeling down on this, you know, this pavement, which was not very nice to kneel down on. This is before people were out and up and just took this in front of the pool. Just beautiful, beautiful. It's so beautiful, you don't need special lighting. You don't need a crew. You just need me on vacation with my iPhone at eight in the morning when no one's there. Or this, or you need a Ben to hold it in front of the sand while he's wearing beach please. That's a good, that's a great shot too. It's kind of got water on it because we did put it in the ocean. I'm sure you've seen the teaser promos of the ocean wave literally coming for it. And the comments were like, oh my God, save her. Don't worry, we saved her. She has a little bit of water damage, but she held up pretty well. I have a photo where you can see a little bit better. Oh, is that beach please on the beach looking exactly the same, but sparkly? Yes, it is. <laughs> it was the perfect match, beach please. Put her in the white sand. And then we congratulated product development. We're like, we did it. It is literally white sand in a bottle. I love it. It's the sand polish. Did, did you bring one bo box? No, I, I brought uh, three, just in case. The beach is beaching. I am now a professional photographer, yes. Uh, two weeks ago, I said I wasn't. I, I am now. I mean, like, it's cute. <laughs> This is not a set. This is the Dominican Republic beach, actually. Looking cute in their little chairs. Just tanning on the beach. Stunning, relaxing vibes. That's what we want. This was my passing course. How'd I do? And then we put the polishes 
right where the tide comes in. <laughs> And there's at least two video clips where they just wash away and they'll be rolling out on TikTok or shorts or Instagram in the next few days. I have some footage, but like I just took a few pictures of us trying to do this to arrange the polishes as the tide comes in. But you don't want to put them too close to the water, but you also don't want them to be too far or else it won't reach. It's very risky. But don't worry, we didn't lose any polish. We didn't lose any, then we saved them all when the wave came. <laughs> there you go, there's me mothering. I'm like, you look, you're doing great, sweetie. You're doing great. Oops. Good job. How did I get nail polish on a plane? You can read the rules from TSA. And you, you may find that they say it's fine. And here they are kind of dirty. I had to clean them up. This is before I cleaned them. I was like, you know what? It looks kind of cute that they're sandy and dirty. So I just took a picture on the towels that are turquoise from the resort. It's their color and it's also my color now. <laughs> I stole your color. Here's the box on the beautiful beach. Wish you were here and you can see there's like sand, look, sand, water, oops. But like how perfect is this set? I mean, <laughs> this real life set, like it's just like, you can't Photoshop this. It's so beautiful. And here's a better picture where you can see the actual color match of the sand tray to a white sand beach. So when you see it in real life, and you're like, is that the color of sand? I don't know because I live so far or I can't remember the last time that I went to a white sand beach. It is the color. I checked it for you. That's why we went to make sure that it's a perfect match. The aesthetic is amazing. Mm -hmm. And in this picture, I'm exposing the water damage. I will say that it held up pretty well for the amount of shots that we got of it like in the water and the water washing up on it when it was like kind of standing like this. So this flap got wet, but it actually held up pretty well that I just continued to use the same box even though it had a little bit of water damage. The box matches, yes, that's the point, Christina. Where the sand meets the sea. Ben, why are we so cute? Ew. <laughs> Look, I saw this. We were standing at our villa and I was like, you know what? This would be the perfect picture if we put our thumbs together because it's literally sand and sea. Adorable, I'm gonna throw up. Can we get a beach mani where it's a base of beach please then a wave of never tied down? I can't wait to see the nail art. I want to do that so bad, but I have no time to do nail art. But I trust that so many nail artists on Instagram are totally gonna do that when they get this in the mail. They'll be like, I know what I'm doing, this, but nail art, unlike Christine who never does nail art anymore. Uh-oh, feet for free, feet for free, feet for free. You're welcome. These are my feet and they are free. But I'm wearing private villa in the pool of the private villa. <laughs> I had to, you know, like it's for, it's for the Instagram, but I'm probably not gonna post this on Instagram. So it's for the stream, it's for free. Yeah, I don't charge, it's fine. You can just buy the collection and I'll give you my free feet pics. You're welcome. I love this shade on toes, like the kind of like hot red pink color with the shimmer. Mm. There's your mother standing with her box. Like we're going out for dinner. <laughs> we're going for dinner. Make sure you shower before dinner. Wash your sand off. I'm definitely doing beach nail art with this collection, yeah. Oop, 
Oops, I went swimming. I had to take her swimming. You know, it's only fair. Also, it looks like I have no body. <laughs> like what? I have no body. It's only collection box. Okay, yes. Actually, did I tell you that my body is a collection box? It's just a hollow taco box. That's it. I have no limbs. Only collection boxes. We had to make sure that uh, she didn't get too wet. You had to carry her in the pool. There's Ben wearing, uh, unbeknownst to him, a shirt that had upside down pineapples, as you might have heard. Uh, allegedly, it is a symbol for swingers, which we did not know until we were advised from this chat a couple weeks ago when I like innocently showed a picture of us and they're like, upside down pineapples! And I'm like, what the fuck? It's a pineapple. Yeah. Old Navy, I have questions. <laughs> he is shocked to hear this information. He said, Old Navy, what did you sell me? Old Navy! Where is your lawyer? I am going to call your lawyer. Yes, he bought the shirt from Old Navy and now he has questions for the manager. New emote just dropped. <laughs> it's Ben. Guys, screenshot for new emote. There you go. I want it in my Discord. He looks like he knows. <laughs> ben! Okay, then your mother went swimming again. Lots of swimming, lots of dipping in the toes, taking the collection box, of course. Mm, had to get this shot too. This beautiful, stunning scene was the view from our private villa, which we had to get for the shade name, obviously, you know, or else I couldn't say that eight times. Hello, mommy is mothering. This is a beautiful collection. Thank you. You're welcome, child. There we are looking cute with our nails in front of the pool. And again, the box wanted to go for a swim. So I have some shots that'll be coming out where you just see the box like gently floating on the water. And it's just like, woo -hoo, in the sun. <laughs> we took the polishes out. Okay, here, if you're ever doing this, not that you would, cause you will probably see a little bit of water damage. So I'm not, uh, do not recommend. But we took the polishes out of the box. So the box was lighter. And then we float the box on water. So the polish isn't in the box for these shots. Yeah. But if you take the polish out, it does float. The water will slowly try and creep in, but how is it floating? Cause it's not heavy if you take the polish out. <laughs> it'll, it'll save your life. And then we place the polishes in their little chairs up on the infinity ledge of that pool so that you saw the ocean in the background. And th these were such good shots. So you saw this in the Holo Taco launch video. There was like just a few seconds of it. If you ever do another water photo shoot, you can spray the box with a hydrophobic solution. They make it for shoes. Yeah, that might mattify it though. I have put that on shoes in Canada. It's, it's necessary sometimes. It does kind of like, it would do something weird. I feel like it could ruin the hollow miler. Yeah, look at the babies getting a tan. They're wearing sunscreen, of course. Here was some of the shots. And there's me taking pictures. <laughs> so we were both in the pool. Like, don't drop your phone. Don't drop your phone. Please do not drop your phone. <laughs> we took three phones just in case. I had two because there's something about shooting constantly in the summer sun. And then the iPhone hates you. And then you get this warning and it's like, flash does not work. Uh, your phone's overheating. Please shut the fuck your, please shut your phone down, please. <laughs> Yes, all these shots are iPhone. Every single shot you've seen in this slideshow is iPhone. So Ben had his iPhone. I brought two of my iPhones. Yes, I have multiple iPhones because I just keep the old ones that after I upgrade, I still keep them because I still shoot video on multiple phones at once. But it actually was really helpful to have three phones between us because of the overheating. So if like one phone couldn't record anymore, I just switched to the other phone. So there was two of us in the water holding phones like, please do not drop the phones. Oh no. No, they're not waterproof. 
Look at me. Professional photographer. <laughs> Get the shot. Yeah. Work it. Work it. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, pose it. Pose it. Oh, the light's hitting you so right. Oh, don't forget about the collection box. Got those shots, too. Look at my, uh, my sunburn. You can see my sunburn starting. Despite all of the sunscreen, I also got sunburned. And then we had dinner on the beach. And by we, I mean me and the collection box. It was very romantic. We had champagne. We had lobster bisque or something. We had a, or was it lobster risotto? I had an avocado salad. We had a delicious decadent uh, Oreo cookie dessert. It was so romantic. And then after we were done the dinner, the, the guy, the servers were just like, congratulations. And I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. With this launch of the new Hollow Taco Vacation Collection, I know it's gonna be a big hit. So thank you so much for congratulating me, us, on our romantic dinner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look how happy we are together. <laughs> it was dinner on the beach. It was so romantic. They wrote love in rose petals. I was basically like on The Bachelor. Here's us on the plane ride home. Nail polish kept up good, but the sun was hitting. So you just had to take another picture. And uh, that's it. That concludes the vacation collection. That's my slideshow. I hope you enjoyed. Did the giveaway happen yet? No, let's do one right now. Let me pull it up. Let's do one right now. Okay, so. <laughs> Let's do a keyword. Hold on, hold on. Not yet. Hold on. Okay, what word should we use? Uh, hmm, not vacation. That's too obvious. How about Pineapple. Okay, so th this is how it's gonna work. Put the word pineapple in the chat. Let's give more luck to regulars. I don't know, what, what is a regular? I don't know, let's see. Pineapple, did I spell it correctly? Put pineapple <laughs> in the chat. For a chance to win, I'm giving I'm giving away a vacation collection, and we'll do it again later in stream. And if you don't win this round, then I will also be doing giveaways later on this week in the Simply Neological Discord server and the official Simply Neological Facebook group. There is only one official Facebook group of mine. It's called All Things Simply. It has the same branding as this stream does, the purple neon stuff. Okay. So put pineapple in the chat and I'm gonna roll it. And when the winner is announced, I need the winner to give me their Twitter or Instagram so that I can DM them. And the DM will come only from me, verified Simply Neological accounts. But I need your email. And you can only win if you live in a region Holo Taco ships to. Cause otherwise I can't ship it to you. Ready and Paige. Congratulations to Paige Tardiff. You just won a Holo Taco vacation collection. So you can stop commenting pineapple in the chat. The giveaway is over. Congratulations, Paige. I will need you to comment your Instagram or Twitter in the chat. Don't use the at sign or else YouTube thinks it's like spam or promo. So just say my Twitter is or whatever and don't write the at sign. Okay. So the mods will be on the lookout. Ah, thank you so much. Okay, there's Paige, woo. I'll just take it off. So if you wanna just share your Twitter or Instagram without an at sign, because YouTube might kick you out, kick you out. We'll do another one in a little bit, but I think people wanna see comparisons, right? Comparisons? Comparisons? I drank this whole thing. 
<laughs> and I have vacation tea. All right, I think we got Paige's info. Thank you, Paige. Perfect. All right, comparisons. First step, let's get a closer look at them on the swatch wheel. Oh, the vibes are incredible. The vibes are squeaky, squeaky clean vacation. Let's see it through the reflective light. There you go. Actually, before we do comparison, sorry, I lied. Since a lot of chat when I pulled you guys about an hour ago have never used reflective polish, I would like to do just a quick little tutorial about what I mean about how to activate it. So under regular lighting, the polishes look like this. These three have reflective pigments in them, but you're not really seeing that do much under regular lighting. But if you take your phone, doesn't have to be an iPhone, any phone that has a flash, and then you go to like video, like you go to like video mode, turn on your, turn, turn on. Okay, my flash only turns on if I like go like this for some reason. Okay, so I'm recording video and the flash is on. Hold on, how am I gonna do this? I'm like, <laughs> this is gonna work. Can I show you from here? Okay, maybe this demo is not the best because because of all the notifications I'm getting. Okay, but you understand my point is you take the flash and you look through on your phone and then you're gonna see because the, the way that they're activated is the source of light needs to be right beside your field of view. And the field of view in this case is your camera. So if you have a source of light that's right beside the lens, the camera or your eyeballs, then it will work. It's the same logic as a stop sign. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a prototype. It's just a sticker. It's not ready for a long time. Please hold. <laughs> NDAs have been signed. Okay, where is yours? I see silly munchkins and Faye has signed hers. What about you? Anyways. So reflective polish requires a direct source of light, but not just that, it needs to be beside the field of view. So if you're shooting on a camera, it needs to be right beside the lens or I can't show you, it won't come over, a uh, ring light. So right now I have a ring light in front and the ring light really makes the reflective glitters pop. See? Hot pink reflective glitters, gold reflective glitters, also gold reflective glitters, but they look warmer because they're in a purple jelly. And there they are on my nails. But if I move the reflective uh, allowing light away, they just look like the base of it without the glitter. So direct sunlight is not necessarily the answer. And let me explain. Direct sunlight is just like a generic phone flash. Like it'll help light up hollow. You'll see the hollow in, the, in all the shades or almost all the shades. But your eyes need to be at the same POV as the sun. And that's usually not possible to do. Unless you like go to space, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> So the sun isn't going to necessarily activate the reflective glitters unless you're at like just the right angle. It really depends. 
So I think the best way to do it is just having like a ring light around your camera. Uh, or if you're just kind of observing it under your light, you'll notice like if you move your head back and forth, you'll see the bottle will just kind of light up and you'll be like, oh my God, there it is. There, there's the angle. It's surprising. It's meant to surprise you. Like here. See how when I turn the bottle, it just kind of lights up around the glass walls at different angles. When it's more top down, you'll see it more like this. Sorry, it's trying to focus on me. And then when I put our ring light on, it really pops because the light source is directly around the camera lens, which is basically your eyes right now. Fun fact, spider's eyes light up in the dark. If you put a flashlight next to your eyes to make sure there's no spiders, put a flashlight by your eyes. Oh my God, it's made of reflective glitters. That's wild. It's kind of magic, yeah. So ridiculously gorgeous, what even the heck? Yeah, I know, like what? The glitter is just so fun and so cool. So let's put it back to kind of regular lighting. And then let's do comparisons. So I think we've gotten enough explanation on the formula, but you tell me if you need some more clarification after having watched the full stream. Uh, go ahead, drop in the chat what you want to see shades compared to. There are some comparisons already on Instagram, but happy to do more. Private Villa and Party Punch. So Party Punch is deeper and pinker than Private Villa. I also just want to flag that because part, uh, because Private Villa has is more jelly than party punch which is which has jelly in it but this one is more jelly you see how it looks a bit different on my nail it like looks a bit lighter a little bit oranger because it's over my orange nails and skin right so these are painted on a clear swatch wheel so it's almost like i need to go like this for you to get a better idea of the color but yeah compared to party punch the formula is different. Party Punch is a packed hollow glitter with three different sizes of hollow glitter in a hot pinkish red, but more pink jelly base. Now that I'm seeing this one, this one is a little orangier and the jelly is more translucent and it has reflective glitters instead of chunky hollow glitters. It goes on way sheerer, more like a wash of color, more like a buildable jelly like you saw in the swatching video. And the, the tone of it's different. It's more, it's more coral than pink compared to Party Punch, which is a bit deeper. Favorite sister. Well, she's a frosted metal and she's more red or orange compared to Private Villa, which leans more pink. The color looks, oh, in the bottle, yes. So, in the bottle, because this is a jelly polish, when you stack it like 800 times, which is basically what's happening when it's like super concentrated in a bottle, it's gonna look different, but you can layer it up to get more of a packed look or you could sponge it on. But reflective glitters do tend to kind of stick around the side of the bottle. Encryption key, yep. So encryption key is softer. Encryption key would be lighter, softer. The shimmer is much finer and doesn't have like sparkly flecks in it. And does not reflect the glitter. Yeah, it's it's more um, sub subdued and the shimmer is what's more impactful in these, like the kind of like light, lightness of them all. Whereas this is more punchy. 
Uh, hot wire pink? Sure. Hot wire pink is way pinker and cooler. Yeah, hot wire pink is way more like blue tone pink. <laughs> Thank you, Val. Uh, tax haven and fairy tale. Very different undertones on these. Tax Haven is much warmer, more copy, copperier, 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 what? And Fairy Tale is a more neutral kind of cool tone brown. That's, th these are magnetics, so you're seeing the stripe. But if we're just talking about the color, and then the added pigment for the hollow is different. The magnetics have uh, kind of a, a micro flake hollow, and Tax Haven has a scattered gold hollow glitter, a very small one but they're gold, so it looks different. We could do the oat couture. Okay, well let, here, let's do the dark, darker ones first. So this is the barista collection. Espresso, your, oh, the barista collection is back in stock. So people can pick that up again. The barista collection keeps selling out. Like what the heck, please calm down. <laughs> It's like every couple weeks I'll check and I'll be like, fuck, one of the shades is sold out again. So thank you guys, but the Barista collection has been selling so well and occasionally we do seem to have more out of stock periods, but they were restocked in time for today's launch. So yeah, um, sorry, I have a little paper cut there. <laughs> How aesthetic of me. Espresso, your hollow. Need I say mocha, hollow cappuccino. Uh, these are way more neutral, kind of underplayed. The point wasn't to be like, bam, pigment. It was just about, uh, you know, the neutral palette. But Tax Haven is much richer and more of like a potent color. And it is a multi-chrome, so it's a very different formula. And Beach Please. So yeah, some people were wondering. Oak Couture, I would say, is way pinker. Way pinker, a little purpley oat. Purpley odier pinker <laughs> than beach please. Just for reference, and that's blushed ice. So yeah, we we don't really have anything in this range previously. See all later chai is much deeper than this. Let me grab that. Oh, here I have it with with linear hollow. This is see all later chai with a coat of linear hollow on it, but it is much darker than beach please. Beach please is quite pale. So yeah, see all later chai is a little warmer, slightly more cinnamony. You saw the box in the background of the podcast? How? Who showed you that? What? Beach Please looks really nice as a topper too. I was using it yesterday over Seal Later Chai, but if you use any hollow glitter as a topper, it's gonna show a lot of the color underneath. But if you, it depends on what you're going for. Like if you want the full sand, like this literally looks like I plucked it off the beach, then you do need to do this polish full coverage. But you couldn't, you could use it as a topper, but it's gonna look more grainy, right? Cause then you just see the scattered glitters over top of a flat base. So I do recommend building it up to get that true impact. Uh, Never tied down and hydro power. So hydro power is really our only other kind of turquoisey color. I think it's a little bluer and more silverier because of the strong linear hollow pigment. Whereas Never Tied Down is a richer, more jewel-like turquoise. And because it has that jelly base, it tends to help that effect come through a little bit better, a little truer to what it's like to look in the ocean. But I think this is a little bit greener, just like slightly, it's more true tur turquoise in my opinion. This is a little bluer and silverier, so it's lighter. And if I, I pull them back, you can kind of see what I mean there. See, so yeah, it's when you have linear hollow pigment, it's either gonna be like a really strong flare, but be silver, or the flare is gonna dull down a little bit, but it's gonna lighten the color because that's just what happens when you add in hollow, which is silver. Linear holographic pigment is silver at its baseline. 
So it does tend to like silverize the color or like make it kind of cyan-y. You see how there's even like cyan kind of in the flares? So that's why this compared to Never Tied Down is a little silverier. So if you're looking for like a more true turquoise deep sea jelly color, Never Tied Down I would say is more true to that and it has that layered ability. Aquafoil is also turquoisey in a chrome formula. So a bit, it's paler, I'd say, than Never Tied Down. These are more pastelier. These are such a good Skittle Manny though, right? And then yes, the light mode. So the light mode shimmers, I'll just do this. These are much more refined pigments that kind of glow. I'd say it's kind of in the middle of them. Light Link is greener and has a yellow flare and wireless mode is blue with a green flare. I can bring them in closer. All pretty, all pretty. It just depends what you're looking for and trying out a new formula, which I think people are gonna really like. It's weird to kind of explain this on this stream though, because we have all these preset formulas. Everyone knows what a crushed hollow is. Everyone knows what a linear hollow is. You know, they, you know our hollow glitter formula, but you don't know yet <laughs> how these work, like how they apply. We've given as much footage as I can in the video so far. So you have that, you can go back and watch in case you missed it earlier in stream. But these are all new formulas that we don't have exactly already in the lineup. The only one that's like maybe kind of close is a multi-chrome, which is a pretty standard formula. It's just like, which pigment are you using? But we don't have any multi-chromes with scattered hollow glitter in it. So this doesn't technically exist, but the base you kind of maybe have some reference point for that. And here it is compared to the other multi-chromes. So that's Chameleon Coat, Cat's Evasion, Purple with Envy, Blue Ain't Slick, R.I.P. Miss Shift. So yeah, this kind of shade was missing from the multi-chromes. So I'm really happy to finally bring, bring it here. It would be perfect in the fall. Love this one for fall. But yeah, Cat's Evasion is quite different. It goes to magenta and then it'll shift to that kind of gold color at a hard angle. I don't have the exact light up for multi-chromes, but the dominant color is magenta. Whereas the dominant color for this one is that kind of warm, rich tan copper. I feel like, like that's it. Or maybe I could do to mint mojito for procrastination. Mint mojito, sparkling water. Never Tied Down is much more potent, much more like rich in its color versus the pastel linears. I really think this is what we've been kind of missing. I love building out classic formulas and perfecting it and making them in colors that everyone's like, oh my God, I need this in every color. Oh my God, I need our linears in every color, which has been one of our best selling formulas and then releasing Crushed Hollow, which people are really, really loving. And I'm so happy to see that. And then we have Magnetics and we had Chromes and we're gonna do more toppers. Don't worry, we're gonna do more toppers, but I wanted to do this first. Different, fun, funky formula mixes that fill in gaps that you didn't even know we had because <laughs> we were just so focused on perfecting and just coming out with more iterations of formulas that we know you guys love. But yeah, we're, we're doing wild things now. We're going wild. Give us more, more glitters, more toppers. You know we're gonna do more toppers, of course. Need more frosted metals. Where are you gonna put them on your shelves? I don't know. Like, I'm kind of screwed. I don't know where to put these on my shelves. Everything else, I have the perfect order. You know, like the linears and the rainbow order. I even added the ref the um, electric hollows. I just like slotted them in in the linears. Can we see it next to Frostlight? 
Frostlight coming up. Frostlight is a pale baby blue. This one is very, very turquoise. Like you look, you look at the definition of turquoise, you see this color. Turquoise jewels. We need more vacation tank top color. Need more frosted metals. I need everything in every formula. <laughs> we're trying, we're trying to do everything in every formula, one at a time. What would happen if you layered private villa over hot wire pink? That could be fun. Are there any plans to bring back frozen bananas? We will always, you know, listen to feedback. People can always use the send best wishes feature, which may or may not go into a void. But we have so many new things that we want to bring you guys that it's just not reasonable to keep worrying about old shades, you know? I just encourage you that if we come out with something and you really like it, that I encourage you to just buy it, if you can, of course. And then, you know, but also don't get it if you don't want it. Because what happens is when we retire a shade and people just want it because they couldn't have it, that's like psychology that we all need to reflect on ourselves, you know, for a little bit. Also, Frozen Bananas was out for like two years. It was available. It was supposed to be seasonal, but we ended up just leaving it in stock for like way more than a season. <laughs> so it had been there for a really long time and I feel like it had its moment. And w I hope people can understand that over time, we're gonna be doing more of this, that there's gonna be shades that have longer periods of out of stock. There's gonna be shades that we decide to retire because look at all the new great stuff we're trying to bring you. We're not gonna be able to keep restocking small amounts. Like that's the other problem too, is most people have already like purchased frozen bananas or decided that they didn't want to purchase frozen bananas, which is fine either way. So it just doesn't really make sense for us to restock like in a small amount because we're doing big things. It's the circle of life. Na, 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 na. That being said, Hollow Royalty gets to vote in the bring back survey, which we'll be doing at some point later this year. And they will have the power to bring back potentially one or more retired polishes. So shout out to Hollow Royalty. Do not buy anything on eBay because you never know what Hollow Royalty is gonna bring back. Okay. Hope you enjoyed those comparisons. Now let's do detective stuff. Should we do that? Let me put all these wheels away. This is where my head's at. Okay, this is me. And bingo later, yes. What does it look like next to beach, please? Didn't I show this already? More yellow gold, more sandy, what white sandy. You, you need Julian, well just go to him. He streams on Twitch. Just just go to his stream. Say, Julian, I need you. I'm sure he'll answer positively. Or not. <laughs> All right, detectives. Let me pull up your file. Give me a moment. Detectives, it's your time to shine or perish. We'll see. 
every Hollow Taco launch, there's a group of people who call themselves the Hollow Taco de ta Hollow Del Taco. Da 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 da. <laughs> Yo, they're making fun of me so much right now because they literally like made this joke already because I can't say it. So they already have called themselves the Hollow Del Taco Collection. Who's hungry? Okay. Anyways. <clears throat> The Hollow Taco detectives live in the caves of the Simply and Illogical Discord server. In the basement, basically, of the Discord server. We have a detective's desk where there's been two reports because they had no idea what was coming next. There's the reflective report because reflectives had been sighted. They eat out of a trough, yes. The detectives are in the basement eating out of a trough with Tyler, thinking everything is orange, correct. The reflective report and the shimmer, re shimmer report, shimmer sleuthing are two files that were opened by detectives because they didn't know what was coming next. And usually they're pretty good at knowing like it's like the pastel that something is coming, you know? But they had no idea the vacation collection was coming until we went on vacation. So anyways, they, they're gonna need to reorganize their files. It's very messy. So first, they screen capped my Snapchat. I feel like the only people who watch me on Snapchat now are Hollow Tonga detectives. That's it. Like, no one cares about my cats, about my day. They just want to see prototypes. And so they can do this. <laughs> so they can, they can analyze the numbers and say, what is this? What is this? So you guys were... You're right. This wheel is part of the vacation collection because it says July 2022. Oh my God, that's so long ago. <laughs> In July, I was looking at these prototypes, wild. It takes so long to come out with a vacation collection. And you guys knew to file this under reflectives when you saw the black and white. You're like, those speckles look reflective. I know, because I have experience in reflective pigments. Processing footage, what is this? You're circling it, why? Because I, I didn't cover it with kissies? When your desk is nail polish. Oh, this gave it away. This is my bad, I'm a dummy. Okay, I took this picture, I guess, wish with flash, and so many of them lit up. These were the sand ones, sand prototypes. And here too. <laughs> this is this, but on a different wheel where I mark the prototypes with an X when they're approved. Final. This said vacation. <laughs> it said vacation final. <laughs> if only you knew. Just put a secret shade on my toes. Someone screen recorded my feet. I'm not even gonna ask why. And then there was Ben on stream for uh, April 1st stream, you know, his inaugural April 1st stream. I do not ask why he is formatted this way. That was not the detectives. That was Ben's choice actually. And he painted the hummus shade on his nails. Oh my God, hold your breath chat. Is that reflective gold glitter? Wow. Sand, and then it began. People started screen capping Ben, relating it to our teaser and saying, uh oh, there's a sand polish coming. There were some detectives who were like, oh, that's just an April Fool's joke. Okay, the sand or the, the chickpea crush is what it said originally is not real, it's just an April Fool's joke. But there was like two or three detectives, maybe more than that, there, a handful of detectives were like, no, 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 listen, what if she's just playing us and it's actually coming out? You knew it? Ben was like, bye frozen bananas, hello chickpeas. And then we showed you the sand. I gave you a nice juicy close up of sand. This is not the beach. This is actually the polish beach police. I know you look at this and you're like, oh my God, it looks like wet sand traveling up the beach. No, 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 it's our nail polish. Don't, do not be mistaken. And then there was chaos in the discord. There's, this happened. There was frame, flames, you know, mods were required. There was 
people doing weird things in the sand, eating the sand, swimming in the sand, becoming one with the sand, and people were strangely very excited about sand. Like they wanted to eat it. And then there was goats on the sand. Goats on the beach on the sand. There's there's beach goats. Get in touch. I did not even know this, but they take summer bookings at beachgoats.ca. Only the detectives would know this and share this as if this was relevant to the file. Relevance, objection. They knew about the beach goat collection. They did. How did they know? It's incredible. Uh, there, I did see some hummus truthers in there. You know, there's some weird discourse about people saying like, no, we, we want the hummus one. And then people are just, you know, being chaotic. Okay, anyways, back to my stream where I was giving detectives what they wanted. I was feeding them. They were eating so good on this stream. They were like, mm, Christine, tell us more. Just like the lie detector's dream. Someone colorized my hand. <laughs> Normally when you do this and you colorize a black and white photo, everything looks red, like whatever, I don't know, just injects red into the image, I guess, because they just like assume it's people and when there's like some pigment to their skin. So they're like, everything is red or pink. <laughs> but this was private villa. So it was actually like not far off, but like also very far off, you know? Nice try. So close, but not really. Uh, then people started looking up where I got my drink umbrellas as if this is like some revolution. Like, <laughs> like, wow, I've never seen a drink umbrella or a beach chair before. Where did you buy them? Where do you buy beach balls? Like a fun way to ruin a weekend and blow $100. They were making recommendations to each other on how to have a vacation at home. Like where, where are we going guys? The point is, Solve the case, figure out what the shade names are, figure out what the colors are, not where do I buy inflatables. I gave you guys my spill shot in black and white. People were already identifying that they think there's five. That was correct for once. And then we have people looking at pre-existing hollow taco polishes, making it black and white and coming up with conclusions or extrapolating how something looks in black and white to what kind of formula it is. Let's see. Conclusion. I stand by polish one from stream being the aqua glitter with unicorn flake we saw her hiding under iron violet. Oh my god, that's right. <laughs> okay, Erilyn. Erilyn gets an A. Because that's actually correct. Wow. Your conclusion is correct. Not bad. Okay, Josh, the fuck is this? You're mad at me for royalty choosing all purple. And then you're like, oh, they're doing a vacation collection. The vacation, it's just purple. <laughs> this is not my fault. This is royalty's fault for overwhelmingly picking purple. Actually, I'm not mad at this. I'm gonna redo the vacation collection with this palette. What do you guys think? Just pink and purple, but mostly purple. I think it's, it's beautiful. I love it. It's so pretty. It's a purple beach. This is what the detectives were referencing. What am I, what is this? What video is this? I don't even know what this is from. <laughs> <laughs> what is this from? Why is there like glitter in a screw? What the fuck? I'm blanking on what it was. <laughs> Anyways, yes, I cover up my nail polish with one coat chrome, my favorite topper, because you can't see anything under it. And it's just one coat. Oh, it was male. Yes, thank you. Of course it was male. I'm like what, what the fuck is this? <laughs> of course, okay. So I was opening mail and I think that I covered up never tied down successfully. But when you put one coat chrome over a finished manicure, which like you are not supposed to do, <laughs> you can't put one coat chrome over glossy taco. That's literally doing your nails backwards. But when you do it that way, it kind of rubs off at the tips. <laughs> so I learned my lesson. Oh no, there's sand in my eye. 
<laughs> Help! The detectives put it there! They're trying to kill me! <laughs> okay. This was so long ago. I wore these in a stream, I want to say in like January or something. Oh yeah, my closet cleaning. It was January. I cleaned out my closet. I found these earrings and I shared it with stream and I was like, oh look. And then people were like, these are so pretty. And I was like, yeah, it reminds me of something undisclosed. The shade never tied down. <laughs> So yeah, and then you saw this, my hangnail. I know, how embarrassing. Uh, filmed with the same manicure that I was wearing, I guess. Or was it a different time? I can't remember anymore. But yeah, I, I did a bad job. I didn't, that, that was my, my bad work. I didn't cover up my crime properly. So that, that was a freebie for detectives, you're welcome. And then I shared this video of color correcting to try and trick you guys to like not know which color, which you, I'm so dumb. Okay, you paused it and you could tell when my skin looked like you know it looks and then you just like recalibrate it and then you're like uh it's this christine <laughs> i was like what do you mean why why isn't it th like hold on why, why isn't it like like that like it could have been that but people zoomed in so close to try and prove it <laughs> and they did it fuck we got some photoshoppers in the detectives so there you go. They're piecing the evidence together. They're doing pretty good. And then someone photoshopped an ex- What is this? I think this is Royal Crush, eh? They photoshopped something to try and guess what it would be. They're like, it could look like this. That's like pretty close. Although this has some like weird purpleness to it, which I think is just from the photoshopping. What is this mood? You guys are making mood boards for me. I don't even have to make them anymore. Just keep making them. I love it. Some blue curacao. Lovely. What is this? Is that Ben and me and a goat on a surfboard? Hollow Taco Beach, please. You knew the shade name. Okay, well, apparently this is the feature film for our vacation. That's exactly what we looked like on vacation. In theaters now. And then we went on vacation. And what, like, okay. I didn't know what to do. Obviously, I was gone for several days out of the house. So I couldn't Snapchat, Benchies, Isler, whatever. So I had no choice but to, like, do something. So I was like, fuck, okay, I'll just show them on vacation. But I will make sure to cover up all my nails, Ben. Ben, don't worry. And team, don't worry. I will make sure that I cover up all my nails because we went on vacation like a month ago. And so I knew it was gonna be some time before we actually launched this. So I didn't wanna spoil it too early because then people are just like mad and frustrated that it's not out yet. <laughs> but I missed the nail. No. Oh! <laughs> I think I'm so smart, fuck. And then that was the shade name, never tied down. You guys got it. And then I missed another nail. I was holding my drink. Guys, look, look at this excessive use of the kissy emoji. I should go to jail for this. You know, it's just too much, it's excessive. And then I forgot one on my thumb. So you you knew it was the, the turquoise jelly. It, it wasn't, I didn't do it on purpose, I swear to God. I was like, I was like squinting, trying to figure out like, am I, because I can't tell, because you know, it was like sunny out or whatever. I was like, I think I got them all, I got them all. Fuck, you had one job while on vacation. Yeah, I, I failed. Then we started showing teasers and people were trying to guess what the text said on the inside of the box. So some people, they got it, that wish you, looks more like an O than an E. Wish you were hollow. No, not quite. Wish you were here, Mary Dan, got it. Pretty good. We had people putting together color palettes from the teasers. Oh, look at this, you spotted the box in the podcast. I mean, like, come on, like, that's pretty obvious. Like, it, it literally has an umbrella on the beach. I should have done a better job at obscuring it more. 
I gave up. I was like, fuck it. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. And then we have like artwork, like what? <laughs> Based on the sneak peeks. People in the Discord, the artists are drawing renderings of what they think it's gonna look like. I'm like, that's pretty fucking good. Like, you got it, okay? You got it. You got the whole thing. What the hell? Straw slash drink. No, that was the hollow flare. See, it tricks ya. It's pretty good. And then there was more goats. More goats drinking wine. There's always goats and random shit in between the actual work. It's like they don't know how to work without it. You know what I mean? Uh, then we gave you a very close-up shot of the box and I didn't mean it to be this in focus. I thought it was gonna be more blurred, but then like, I don't know, something messed up and then there was a very clear shot quite early. So you could start to discern what the formulas were, but no one knew because this was all mixed formulas that have no precedent. So it was harder for detectives to guess what formulas they were. You might've seen the color, but you had no idea what formulas. But here we go, here's someone trying to figure out what it is. Okay, let's analyze their work. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yes, yes. That was never tied down in black and white on stream. Yes, never tied down. Purple, red, blue, multi-chrome. Not a multi-chrome, but I can see why you'd say that. Some people might feel like this is a multi-chrome once it's on their nails just because of the shift to like a warmer purple to an indigo. It kind of like, it feels like that vibe, but it, it's not technically. And then, oh, you guys don't have more of this. Okay, this was Tax Haven on Ben. It looks darker in black and white. So that was this one. And this was the private villa. Pink, red, juicy coral, lighter than party punch jelly with reflective and shimmer. Oh my God, that's exactly it. Wait, what? <laughs> How did you know? I didn't say anything before like today. I didn't say anything about this one until today. Who, we have a mole. Get out of my documents. Beach, please. I gave that one away to you guys on April 1st. I mean, come on, this is Ben's hummus swatch. And late checkout. Look at this cutie under, no, eh, eh, eh. that's not it. This is this one. This is private villa. I didn't swatch late checkout on the stream, but this is late checkout. This was my footage that I was going through later. So yeah, this one should have gone here and this should have gone here if we're like doing this in this order, but very close, very good. Shade name guesses, private villa, you knew. Out of office, no. Good guess though. I think it's cause we said that in like a poll. Never tied down, yes, you got that from my stories. You got it from an email. Beach, please, you got that from our, we just give too much shit away. I think we're gonna have to think along that. Like, why do we do this? <laughs> Late checkout was also given away, but few people caught out. If you looked at Friday's teaser email, the call to action button at the bottom had the name shape, uh, Late Checkout in it. Does that say Swinger Sunsets? Detectives, this is us. That's us laughing at you, I think, right? A lobster, shiny goats, angry sand noises, goat drinking pina colada, goat. Oh, you think this collection is a, is a goat theme, right? Yes, that makes so much sense. Hollow Taco Detectives, I'm looking for clues. Simply with the lie detector, here's a clue. Purple is a fall color. It's the middle of May. <laughs> what? Is that Buffy the Vampire Slayer? <laughs> Buffy, hey girl, good to see you. Thanks for coming on stream. Then it was launch week chaos. And uh, there was a lot of fighting about orange or purple. No one knows if something is orange or purple. Oh, that's one thing we didn't compare to. My camera's died. Hold on.
could I not compare to this? It's the great debate of Midnight Spark. Midnight Spark, Indigo. Late checkout. Has a little bit of shine in it that looks indigo, eh? But overall, if you kind of look at it at an angle where you're not seeing that shine, it is more purple. Has a little bit of warmth to it on the ends. But there you go for reference, people. And then in the All Things Simply Facebook group, which you should join because we're going to do a giveaway there later this week. People were guessing like basically all the colors. And I was like, and this was earlier. And I was like, that's not far off. Like, ha what? Stop hacking me. What the heck? How do you know? Before I shared anything. And then we had the, the Discord essayists. I believe this is Rayleigh. Recap. Jello mold. What? The fuck? What's a jello mold? Release. Okay, confirmed. Box confirmed. It's been a while since I did something. Is that me? Vacation theme or something. Christine's. What made you have that idea? Has there been multiple hints already given? What? <laughs> Due to theme, detectives wondering is a new travel bag? No. But starting to second guess after 517 socials with pricing. Yes. Travel bag, Christine. Okay. <laughs> We're, they're just doing everything. They're sounding all the alarms. They're like, everything is being released, including inflatable goat swimming pools. Okay. That come with automatic pina colada dispensers. Not limited edition, but nothing is permanent. I'm never going to use the word permanent. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yo, I'm gonna hire you to take my meeting minutes. Okay, speculation on the shades. Glittery, reflective, multi-chrome. Could this mean there are two multi-chromes? Look at the detectives collaborating. I said one of the- Oh, you caught me! You screen capped me! <laughs> I can see the copy now. Beach, please. Feel like you're never tied down this year in your private villa with a fat blunt and watch the swingers sunset. <laughs> Detectives need assistance. Mods! Someone needs to assist them. They were close, but like far off in their own direction, just in their own world. They're just like, what? <laughs> that is pretty good. The only one you really had at that point was never tied down. Private Villa was not confirmed until today. And then there was more sand and goats and eating sand and goats swimming on sand and th this. Can't wait for the sand. People were very excited for the sand polish, but uh, just to warn the public, to do my public civil duty, I said absolutely, absolutely unhinged Discord server, do not come. And then they did this. They said that sign won't stop me because I can't read. Well, you you heard it here, okay? Our Discord server cannot read. Unfortunately, all they do is speak into the void and no one reads anything they say. It's all in their head. No one can read. It's so sad. Maybe they should join a book club. Like Bentendo's book club. I have two seats to paradise waiting for us. <laughs> what is this? Is that crime and punishment? And way back chrome? <laughs> Cute. I like the memes. Oh, I like this one. Very cute. Me and Menchie on the beach. Oh. Who screen capped that? Did I do that? Did I put the entire collection in my eyes in a filter before release? No. Definitely not. More organization evidence boards. I really like these because I like to point out when they're wrong. Hold on. I have 
have it right here. Okay. The left one was the tide shade. This is the tide shade. Yes, correct. The next one was tax haven. No, no. Not correct. It kind of doesn't even look like multi-chrome in this lighting, you know? Eh. This is, my toes were private, private villa, but this was correct. Okay, the third one was private villa, but you guys are pointing to never tied down. Not correct. Do you see how like, okay, this is, I don't blame you. This is very challenging because you don't know what formula they are. So when you see them from far away, you just like maybe assume and apply to what you already know but it's so much trickier when it's different here. The sand one, okay, that one was obvious. And then this was late checkout at the end, correct. Okay, but yeah, you, you kind of messed up the first three. Here, you wanna see this? The original prototypes approved. I don't know, just doing some minor tweaks to the sand. I am working on a exclusive content for hollow swatchers and royalty on kind of prototypes to show you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes of that and when i say working on it i mean i haven't done it yet <laughs> so i should probably do that this weekend <laughs> okay let's finish this off <laughs> what is this this looks like uh, that scene where that guy's like oh my god it's everywhere from what is it is it the office <laughs> i don't even know <laughs> Pretty good though. And someone caught this. This was in Ben's stream a long time ago. I was wearing late checkout. Oops. Aqua fresh toothpaste. Really? Oh, it's always sunny. Yes, thank you, thank you. How? Are you gonna brush your teeth with nail polish? I actually like this vibe. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I saw this and I'm like, that's not what I was going for, but actually I like it. Like, you know, I like to brush my teeth with sand too. I love the grit. D dentists hate it, but. Okay, here's another board spotted. Look at this cutie under its umbrella. You guys are matching it. Look at this, it's color coordinated. We got purple dots, purple dots. Well, this was tax haven. Correct, 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 correct. Correct. You just didn't know exactly what shade of pink or red it was. These are correct. Pretty good. Detectives are getting better. I, I need to do better. Look at this. The level of dedication and craft and commitment. Holy shit. Beach, please. Out of office. They didn't know that one. Never tied down. A little bit of these. Just like the... <laughs> I think this is cropped from my thumbnail from the stream, right? Yes, it is. Oh my god. Detectives are wild. We love their work. They work so hard. And then there was this. This mood board. Oops, hold on. Jello mold. I don't even know what's going on. Why they keep talking about jello molds for goats, concoctions, hollow del taco, sand, looking out into your future, hangnail thumb, male thumb, cocktail thumb, mango gate, finger, the collection box they th they kind of imagined, fake detectives. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I think I popped in there for a little bit and uh, you know, called them fake detectives for reasons I cannot recall at this time. Objection, <laughs> speculation. <laughs> All right, okay, and that wraps up the Hollow Del Taco detective work. They did amazing on this launch, but I also said too much, and the lie detector test did not help. <laughs> Should we do another giveaway? Sure. Oh yeah, comparisons are up here. If you wanna take a quick look-see, but I already showed you guys. It's easier to show in person because then I can be like, explain because like lighting is always different. But anyways, that is up if you want to look. Giveaway. What about the playlist? Oh yes, you guys did make a playlist. We can't listen to it on stream because copyright. 
but it is amazing. Actually, speaking of music, I should stop the detective's music. Okay. Hi, Simply. I love this vacation collection. The gold, hollow, and reflective glitter are so pretty. More mixed formula collections in the future. Thank you. I, yes. There's a few other things that I'm gonna do before that. Like, I know we need shimmers. We have something different coming for anniversary. Then something different <laughs> coming after that. But yeah, in planning 2024, we're thinking about that, but also trying to do everything I want. You know what I mean? It's very difficult. Okay, oh yeah, don't put pineapple. Oh my God, chat. I'm sorry, that was old. <laughs> chat, calm down. The word is not pineapple. The word is not pineapple. It was that a long time ago. No more pineapples in the chat. We're gonna we're gonna pick another one and then we're gonna do bingo. Let's do sunburn. What always happens to me. And we're gonna increase channel member luck. As a thank you to the Menchie gang. That doesn't mean they, that they'll win, just that, you know. Increases channel luck for the Menchie gang. And the word is sunburn, so put sunburn in the chat. And we'll draw a winner to win one of the vacation collections. This is an extra thank you to people on this stream. Thanks for hanging out with me and chilling. And when I roll it, then I'm gonna need you to share your Instagram or Twitter and the mods will pick it up and I'm gonna DM you directly to go from there. It has to be a country that Halotago ships to. And we've fixed our shipping checkout problems internationally, right? I haven't seen anyone complain. <laughs> so I feel like it's been fixed. So if you were here earlier and it wasn't working, it should work now. All right, I'm gonna roll it. Rolling. In five, four, three, two, one. Kim! A member, Menchie Gang member, woo! Congratulations, Kim. You just won a Holo Taco vacation collection. So you too can go on vacation. My gift to you. Congratulations, Kim. So if you just wanna share in the chat your Twitter or Instagram handle, a way that I can contact you, don't put your email and just put like something, you know, like that. And the mods will pick it up. Don't use the at sign when you type it or else YouTube will kick you out. But congratulations to Kim. Okay, I wanna play bingo. So I'm gonna find that. So Kim, I don't know if you heard us because I don't see any chats, but I do need your Instagram or Twitter. The name was only Kim, I know. <laughs> like there's other people named Kim that are like, fuck. This Kim. Kim with this profile picture. Oh, you just put it? Okay, I think it got lost. You might have to do it again because, uh, yeah, you're here. Sorry, if you don't mind putting it again, just because if you put the at sign, or YouTube detected that it was like spam or self promo, it might have kicked you out. So I don't think we actually got it. Apologies, so you'll have to do it again, but don't use an uh, at sign. Yeah, okay. All right, let's play bingo. So, bingos are pinned in the Simply and Illogical Discord server, Simply React. Shout out to Gremlin Sammy 
for making them. It looks like they shared a whole bunch of links so that you'd have to pick. So it doesn't automatically generate one or does it? Cause I got card 20. I feel like if I give you a link, it's going to give you the exact same one as me instead of randomized. Hmm. So yeah, um, the links are in the Discord, but if I if I give you one, it's gonna link you to a specific card, but like, whatever. Okay, you're all gonna play on the same card. This is card 18. <laughs> Why the Halloween background? I don't know. Okay, these are Holotaco detectives. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Of course it's Halloween. Of course it is. It's May 20th. Why wouldn't it be Halloween? That's not the same card as me. All right, hello to the mods. Obviously, we always welcome our mods. Shows pictures from her vacation with Ben. Got it. <laughs> yes, of course. Chris goes over the launch map. Yes. Looks at Australia. Yes. A polish has multiple effects. Bingo! Bingo, bango, bongo. We did it. I win. I win. NDAs in chat, always. Menchi was not here. <gasps> Instead, we had a flamingo visit. Or is that Menchi? Maybe Menchi's just looking like a cute little flamingo. <laughs> Did you guys notice all the props? I have palm trees. I have a beach ball. I have a banana. Hey, catch! Ah! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> My, like, screen's gonna fall over. <laughs> okay, where were we? No, Flamingo did not lick her bed. Chris goes over what's happening on Wednesday. I haven't gotten there yet! <laughs> Actually, I'm not streaming Wednesday. Yeah, I'm not streaming Wednesday. I know. <laughs> it's okay. Just consider it a vacation. It's not actually, but you know, vacation from streaming, I suppose. Hollow Del Taco playlist is talked about. Well, someone asked me about it, probably just to get bingo. A pun as a Polish name, never tied down. <laughs> Xyler no shows, yeah. <laughs> someone asked about the next launch. I mean, like, I'm sure 800 people asked about the next launch. Okay, someone asked, where's my shimmers? Someone said, where, I saw a sticker. Someone said, you know, other things. I'm sure you did, so that's always the case. You're always gonna win bingo with that one. Chris tells us her favorite polish. <gasps> I didn't tell you. Right? Okay, now that you've already voted and sales are in, my favorite polish is never tied down. That's why I gave it its own moment on this hand. I just, I love it. It's just so perfect and just glistens and it's so bright for a turquoise. So yeah, that's my favorite. But I like everything else, but it's just like, it's something I've been wanting very specifically for so long. And it was kind of the baseline, the starting point for this collection. I was like, the first polish is this, done, locked. And then everything kind of came from there. I love turquoise. Turquoise and aqua, like that color right in the middle. Mm, beautiful. Okay, there you go. Goes over detective work, yes. Chris has props, umbrella, food, drink, yes. And my sunglasses. And I started off with my pina colada and I'm just like, I'm not working today. You're working, not me. Sand is mentioned 800 times. Alliteration as a Polish name. No. And I normally do that. Yeah, this is a rare one where like I didn't have an alliteration. I'm I'm usually too obsessed with alliterations. Like I need to chill. 
Last year, you wished me happy 29th. Today, I'm 30. Happy birthday, Trisha, on your 30th birthday. You're a 30-year-old lady now. Stream goes over three hours. <laughs> yes. Oops. <laughs> it's a long vacation. There's a glitch. Something goes wrong. <laughs> no. I'm so sorry again. At the beginning of the stream, there was an issue with international customers checking out something with like the shipping calculator. It appears to have been fixed, so good news. But if you had a friend who was like trying to check out and they couldn't, you can go back to them and be like, it's fine, it's good now, we're good. How did you travel through now? You can check the regulations according to TSA and you will find the rules there. Always do everything according to the rules. People disagree on what a color is, that's like, should be the middle square, always. A polish is named after drink food. Uh, unless you wanna eat sand. <laughs> Not this time. I, we could've, like I could've gone that angle with the, with the reddish pink one. But there's also so many like red pink ones already. There's like Coral Chaser, um, Pink Fizz. You know, I was just like, okay, I don't want this one to be about drinks. I want it to be about the, the like landscape and the like, the points of entry or experience, even though the color kind of reminds you of a drink. My favorite color is the same simply. I refer to it as teal blue quoise. What? I can't say that. Teal, teal blue quoise. Teal quoise. Not quite teal, not quite blue, not quite turquoise. All of them at once. Yes. Put it all together. Yeah, and we had party punch, exactly. Chris drinks treat the... Ben is inappropriate in comments, I probably. Chris makes fun of detectives. Sophia in the chat. Oh my God, I have so many bingos. I have four bingos. What do I win? What do I win? Do I win a free collection box? I win. Vacations for everyone. Have a good vacation. And I think we've done it, chat. I think we did it. We launched, we took off, we landed. We got bingo. We got a waterlogged collection box. We got pina colada, some extra rum. We got beach waves. And the sales update is that the collection box is in stock. Big shouts out to the team and the warehouse. I feel like we've been doing such a good job of making sure that things are available for you guys. Um, so yeah, that's our priority. That's why royalty is still in stock, making sure of that. The, the loyalty polishes designed by Hollow Royalty, so they were still available. So I'm sure people have picked some of those up. I haven't looked at the data yet, but I'm sure that's happening. So yeah, if you got your box, then you don't need to worry. Um, but the box is limited edition and will be available as long as we have quantities still here or in stock, you know, before the vacation has to come to a close. Uh, moving forward, we will not be putting up bundles of the polishes on their own, unless there's like a really good reason for that formula or something, but there's nothing about these formulas that says they should be in a bundle together necessarily. So it really is just about the whole vibe and experience in the box. So there will not be, these polishes will not be available at a discount bundle together later. And we're just not doing that in the future. So if you're just looking for, to, to pick up this whole set, there's no point in waiting, get the box. We got enough boxes for everyone. And we've been doing that for like many, many launches now, making sure we have enough boxes for everyone. So don't, don't wait. <laughs> I understand people were doing that to kind of be nice and leave boxes for other people, but we've totally amped up our quantities. So that's not an issue. The polishes are not technically limited edition, but they're also not permanent. We will continue to evaluate sales 
if and when they sell out in the next, I don't know how long, we will decide based on the data whether we'd like to restock them or not. So big thank you to everyone for joining me on this vacation collection launch. I had a lot of fun just chilling, show you guys a slideshow. This was a different vibe for us and I'm really happy that we brought it all together and finally came out with the vacation collection that has been planned for three years. But yeah, we're here, we're good. We've landed. Big shout out to the mods. I really appreciate all their help keeping the chat at bay. You know, because this is such a wild stream for sure. And shout out to the Discord mods while we're at it. And the Facebook mods and all the mods. There's so many mods. Don't forget to like the stream. I won't see you on Wednesday or next Saturday because I am doing things. I know it's, it's sad, but it's okay. I'll be back the following Wednesday, not this coming Wednesday, but the following Wednesday, I'll be back here. Game TBD, bestseller is never tied down. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoy your vacation. <laughs>